Chapter 2821 Heaven, Earth, Human, Mortal Congratulations. In the future, I'll have to call you Instructor Long Chen, said Heaven Master Yun Yang with a kind smile. You honor this junior too much. Long Chen received the status plate a bit emotionally. With this, he would be getting quite a bit of income. The High Firmament Academy was not a charity. Everything required money. Without money, it was difficult to even take a single step forward. If that was the case, you would only be able to watch others advance every day while you stagnated. An instructor gets a decent salary, but it's not so great. However, someone with skill will not be buried within the academy. Work hard, encouraged Heaven Master Yun Yang. After saying that, he left. Mu King Gaian wanted to send him off, but he just flapped his hand at them and left on his own. Staring at his back, Zhang Ling sighed. Heaven, Earth, Human, and Mortal. Heaven Master Yun Yang is at the highest level, and he is still so kind. But there are a lot of others with lower positions who swagger down the streets like their crabs. The High Firmament Academy's teachers were split into four tiers. Heaven, Earth, Human, and Mortal. Other sects also did the same thing. As for Long Chen's trial, it was just for the lowest level, a mortal ranked instructor, but even the lowest level still had a good income. Other than the set salary, there were also bonuses for holding extra classes and such. Every month, the academy only had two classes for the public that were free. If the disciples felt that they wanted to learn more or if they felt that a certain teacher's instructions weren't clear, they could pay money for any teacher. They could do it one-on-one -on -one or in groups. It was more profitable to do it in groups since the price was split among multiple people. Mu King Gaian and the others often formed groups to attend lectures, raising their overall power. As for this heaven master Yun Yang, his classes were completely free, and he also didn't stand on air. He answered all questions without holding anything back. It was only regretful that heaven master Yun Yang was extremely busy. Mu King Gaian and the others had only managed to attend two of his lessons, but every lesson always benefited them immensely. There was no way for the other instructors to compare to him. He was beloved by all within the academy. Seeing his mannerism and then comparing it to the other instructors, Zhang Ling sighed. Long Chen indifferently said, A full bottle doesn't make noise when it shakes, but a half-empty one makes plenty of noise. The more learning someone has, the more they feel like there is to learn. Mature wheat bends. Only dried up wheat stands straight up as if afraid others won't see it. His luck was decent today as he had encountered both Lai Xiao and Heaven Master Yun Yang. He supposed he couldn't say that there weren't any real experts within the High Firmament Academy now, but the Academy's lower ranks were a complete mess. How was it that the higher ups weren't doing anything? Third brother, your words were really well said. I like the comparisons. You must also be someone with great learning, said Zhang Xiu. Both these two sisters were very pure and unrestrained, even calling Long Chen third brother very naturally. They looked at him with worship in their eyes. That was due to Long Chen's young age combined with his terrifying prowess in combat and his way of talking. Although his clothes were tattered and he looked worn down, it didn't conceal his heroic spirit. The Divine Lightning Elder called him brother at first sight and even Heaven Master Yun Yang viewed Long Chen favorably. That clearly showed that Long Chen was worthy of their respect. In all their years of cultivation, they had never seen a person reach this level. Brother Long, congratulations on being promoted. There's still plenty of time, so would you like to celebrate with us? Asked Mu King Gaian. She was happy to have formed a connection with Long Chen. Considering how the Divine Lightning Elder and Heaven Master Yun Yang viewed him, his future prospects were limitless Novaloon.com I have just entered the immortal world and am penniless. Having you pay for me would be embarrassing, said Long Chen helplessly. On the Martial Heaven continent, he had reached the point of no longer needing money. However, now that he had just ascended, it was like he had been beaten back to the very start of his journey. Not having money really was painful. Mu King Gaian smiled. Before she could speak, Zhang Xiu giggled. It's fine. You're going to be an instructor. If you feel embarrassed, you can just teach us some more. That way, you won't owe us anything. Zhang Xiu, how can you make a transaction over such a matter? 
Being able to meet Brother Long and become friends with him is enough to celebrate a meal over. Brother Long, please don't overthink it. Otherwise, it would make us feel bad, said Mu Qingyan. With how enthusiastic she was, Long Chen didn't feel good declining. That would make him seem unreasonable. Hence, seeing him agree, they cheered. Especially Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu. Mu Qinglin shook her head slightly looking at them. A somewhat helpless expression appeared on her face. After that, they walked out of the courtroom, and Mu Qingyan led the way. They then went to a place where flying immortal beasts were provided to disciples to move around. These flying mounts were small, usually only for one or two people at once. Within the academy, the lower your cultivation base, the more trouble you had to go through. Perhaps this was the motivation for disciples to focus on cultivation. The higher their cultivation bases, the more benefits they got. In the end, Long Chen ended up on the same mount as Mu Qingyan. He felt a bit awkward because he saw Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu smiling playfully. However, Mu Qingyan was very relaxed. She sat first, so Long Chen naturally could only thicken his face and sit with her. The immortal beast started flying forming a line. Long Chen didn't speak on the way and just stared at the ancient forest they were flying over. With Long Chen not speaking, Mu Qingyan also felt a bit awkward. The two of them were just silently sitting there. In the end, it was Mu Qingyan who spoke first. Brother Long, I have one thing I don't understand. The Pill Institute offers its disciples the best benefits. Why would you come to the God Institute to be a teacher? Isn't it because of that idiot teacher that caused me to lose my initial benefits? He actually wanted to use me as an example of what not to do. Trying to humiliate me in front of everyone. After that, I just slapped him into the wall so hard that he couldn't get out. Just mentioning this matter made Long Chen angry. He truly found it difficult to stomach to see someone who was trash at alchemy give him pointers on it. If he had been a bit angrier at that time. He might have killed that idiot. Mu Qingyan couldn't help laughing. The expressions and gestures that Long Chen used when telling his story were too funny. Even she was teased into laughing. The sound of her laughter was pleasant to hear. But this laughter made Long Chen feel a bit embarrassed. Don't misunderstand. I'm not laughing at you. The way you talk is just really interesting. Said Mu Qingyan with mirth. Watch out. Long Chen suddenly shouted and grabbed Mu Qingyan. After that, the two of them went flying off of the immortal beast's back. They had barely fallen off of the beast when a giant figure appeared and smashed into the immortal beast. The beast cried out and plummeted from the sky. Chapter 2822 Who is more ruthless? It was a giant flying boat. Due to a mountain blocking their vision and its extreme speed, there was no time to react before it crashed into them. If it weren't for Long Chen they would have been struck along with the immortal beast. Although it wouldn't be so serious that they would die from the impact, it would be difficult to avoid injury. At this moment, Long Chen's expression darkened, and killing intent appeared in his eyes. The angle that this flying boat had come out of was off. It had clearly been trying to hit them. Without the flying immortal beast, the two of them fell from the sky. Since they hadn't ignited their divine flames, there was no way for them to float in midair. Just at that moment, another flying beast flew over and caught them. It was Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu who just so happened to be the closest to them. The flying beast wasn't large enough to carry all four of them, but it was at least strong enough that it didn't plummet even with the additional weight. How hateful. That is their hunting flying boat. Also, this is not one of the official paths for flying boats. They were trying to hit us. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu were filled with fury. Mu Qingyan also stared at the flying boat darkly. Seeing it, she knew which bastards were behind this. The flying boat slowed down after hitting them. It then slowly advanced as if trying to show off its martial might. Do you have any heavy weapons? Asked Long Chen suddenly. What? I have a heavy rod. Mu Qingyan answered in surprise. Give it to me. But the flying beast can't endure it. If they took out such a heavy weapon on the immortal beast. It would instantly plummet with them on it. It's fine. Toss it over, said Long Chen. Mu Qingyan didn't know what Long Chen wanted to do. However, she still formed hand seals and summoned a bronze rod. As soon as it appeared, 
Long Chen tossed it into the primal chaos space. He was extremely fast, putting it away before it affected the immortal beast. Chase them, said Long Chen to Zhang Ling. We can't catch up to them. Also, Zhang Ling hesitated. What could they do even if they chased? They would be inviting trouble to themselves. Listen to me. If I don't make them bleed a bit today, they won't know that I'm not to be provoked, said Long Chen darkly. There were truly many people who wanted to die. If he didn't make them reserve themselves a bit, he would have to constantly deal with them in the academy. When would he have time to raise his own power then? All right. Zhang Ling seemed to trust Long Chen and sent the immortal beast flying over. The flying boat slowed down, allowing it to catch up. It was as if they were taunting Long Chen and the others, which further proved that they had struck them intentionally. Third brother, it's no good. A flying boat is ten times faster than us. We can't catch up. After a while, they ended up maintaining a certain distance from each other. The flying boat occasionally sped up and slowed down, toying with them. It's fine. Just keep chasing. Leave the rest to me, said Long Chen. A sword then appeared in his hand. Long Chen snapped the sword. After that, he held a six-inch fragment of it and slowly stood, bending down. He was like a leopard eyeing its prey for an opening. That single-minded concentration and sharp gaze shook Mu King Ian and the others' hearts. The current Long Chen seemed to have returned to his cold and frightening state. Now, when the flying boat once more slowed down to taunt them and the distance between them closed, Long Chen suddenly stamped down. The immortal beast dropped hundreds of meters, causing Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu to cry out. Long Chen shot out. Long Chen then tossed the fragment of the sword into the air as he jumped, and while it was mid-air, his foot stepped down on it, using it as another step, he jumped further, while the fragment of the sword smashed into the ground like a meteor, Long Chen gracefully soared into the sky, Long Chen then reached the flying boat, at that moment, Mu King Ian's bronze rod appeared, with a thunderous roar, Long Chen smashed the rod into the rear of the flying boat, there was a giant vent there with flickering runes, and it was the central hub that gave the flying boat propulsion. As a result, with an explosive sound, the rear of the flying boat exploded and Long Chen was bloodied by the impact. With the support of his spiritual Yuan, the backlash sent him flying back. Just at that moment, Zhang Ling caught him as he fell, having controlled the immortal beast to fly over. Long Chen then grabbed her hand and stabilized himself on the immortal beast's back. Their cooperation was excellent. The flying boat's formations were seemingly out of control. It then spun through the air until it smashed toward a mountain. Heavens, no way. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu covered their eyes. Boom. The flying boat smashed into the mountain, sending bits and pieces flying in every direction. It was unknown if the people inside were alive or dead. At this moment, Mu King Ian's expression changed slightly. Long Chen was truly vicious. That flying boat contained a hunting squad, and there were thousands of disciples on it. If they died just like this, Long Chen would have brought a giant calamity onto himself. However, when she looked at him, she saw that his expression was completely at ease as if this was a completely insignificant matter. Let's go. I'm getting hungry. We had to use quite a bit of energy just now, so we'll need to eat a bit more to make up for it. Long Chen's heart was beating a bit too fast. Without the support of his spiritual Yuan, he had used up too much power just now. Immortal Qi had poured into his body, overloading it. This was because his mortal Qi was still too dense. He had to think of some way to hurry and expel it, or this feeling of not being able to use his power would drive him mad. How would he fight others like this? Should we go take a look? Asked Mu King Ian uneasily. If there were gravely wounded people, they would still be able to save them if they went now. If many people died, it would be troublesome. There's nothing to see. Their luck was not bad. That mountain was severely eroded by the wind. The mountain might have collapsed, but it just served as a cushion. They won't die. At most, they'll have some broken bones. Damn, if they had run into the neighboring cliff, then all their bones would have been torn apart. How regretful Long Chen shook his head. Hearing his words, Mu King Ian felt a chill. This viciousness shook her. Long Chen actually wanted all of them to die? He had guts. However, his words also made her relax. 
She recalled the exact scene of the flying boat crashing into the mountain, and it seemed that he was right. This mountain wasn't very tough, so it shouldn't be too bad for the people inside. She then led everyone on their original path. This matter made the worship in Zhongling and Zhang Xiu's eyes grow. The way that Long Chen had used the broken sword to reach the flying boat in particular amazed them, and they truly wanted to learn from him. Just as these two sisters were talking, the immortal beasts descended on their destination. As for the missing immortal beast, she reported it to the guards there. Moreover, this matter definitely wouldn't end here. They would definitely have to face the court again. But she was already used to such a thing. Mu King Ian then led the way to an ancient, tall building. As soon as they entered, waves of fragrance washed over them, and Long Chen's stomach instantly started grumbling, causing the sisters to laugh. Brother Long's stomach is hungry. Let's hurry. Mu King Ian smiled. Although she wasn't too familiar with Long Chen, his normal frank character made others very comfortable. They didn't need to restrain themselves when with him. Long Chen had only just stepped onto the second floor when a sneer rang out. How disappointing. Does the precious delicacy pavilion allow just anyone to enter? Long Chen was startled as that voice was a bit familiar. He then looked around and was surprised. How did this fellow end up appearing here? Chapter 2823 Old Foes Meet Once More This person was someone Long Chen recognized. He was the first person who felt that they needed to report their own name after Long Chen entered the immortal world. Pan Mingxiang. When Long Chen had been asking a woman in line for some information, she had felt pity for him and not only answered him but was also willing to lend him the fee for the registration. Pan Mingxiang had been irritated by this for some reason. It was unknown if he was jealous of Long Chen's looks or simply looked down on people from the lower world. Due to his unclean mouth. Long Chen decided to slap him to clean it out. Afterward, both of them were disqualified, and Long Chen found a different way to enter the academy. As for this fellow, he did the same thing. Pan Mingxiang had said that he had a big brother in the academy that was on the divine rankings. However, those two law enforcement disciples didn't care and still kicked him out. Seeing him in disciple robes and drinking with a few others. Long Chen saw that he still had his previous arrogant appearance. His way of looking down his nose at people hadn't changed in the slightest. At this time, he was looking at a woman in a corner. She wore ordinary robes and didn't have a powerful aura. She was quietly eating her bowl of food with her head down. While everyone else was eating lavish meals, she was hiding in a corner eating something that did appear a bit poor. Long Chen looked at her and was startled to see a bump on her stomach. She was actually pregnant. As soon as Pan Mingxiang spoke, she blushed. She wanted to leave, but she hadn't finished eating, so she hesitated. With such aptitude, it would be best to just leave the academy instead of embarrassing yourself here. With your own talent lacking, are you hoping for your child to fight for you? Have you not heard that dragons birth dragons? Phoenixes birth phoenixes? A mouse's child can only dig holes. Are you unaware that your table manners are disgusting for others to witness? What are you waiting for? Hurry up and scram. You're just as disgusting as those rats from the lower world, sneered Pan Mingxiang. The woman quivered with rage and couldn't hold back her tears. However, she still stood and prepared to leave. Just at this moment, an icy voice rang out. I really am puzzled. How is it that an idiot who can only turn food into crap feels qualified to mock someone who can turn food into a new life? Mu King Ian, Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and the others were equally disgusted by Pan Mingxiang's words. However, just like that, Long Chen made that anger transform into laughter. Mu King Ian couldn't help it. Long Chen's humor always came without warning, making it impossible to guard against. Which bastard is talking? Get out here roared Pan Mingxiang. Long Chen walked in. When Pan Mingxiang saw him, his eyes widened. He then smiled in twisted delight. Good brat, I was actually thinking of how to find you, but you actually sent yourself to me. Seeing Long Chen still wearing his tattered black robes, he was reminded of their first meeting. The humiliation from back then instantly caused his anger to soar. That slap had resulted in him being disqualified and he had been forced to use a back door to enter the academy. It had cost quite a bit and required many connections. 
that slap had not just cost him his dignity, but it had also cost him a large sum of wealth. Hence, his eyes reddened at this moment. Brother Pan, has this brat offended you? I'll teach him a lesson for you. Another disciple eating with him stood, rubbing his fists. No need. I'll show you my true abilities today. I'll make sure to tear out every single one of his tendons and rip off his skin. Pan Mingxian laughed and charged at Long Chen, Mu Qingyan, Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and the others who had come with them shook their heads, almost tearing away. Pow! As expected, Pan Mingxian was slapped in the face. Half his face caved in, and the sound of bones breaking made their goosebumps rise. Pan Mingxian then spun like a spinning top. After that, Long Chen's right foot was as quick as lightning, landing on his coccyx. As a result, Pan Mingxian's body instantly curled up like a shrimp, his eyes almost flying out of his head. Ah! Pan Mingxian screamed and was kicked away like a cannonball, flying out of the window. His scream was echoing into the distance and slowly faded as he flew to an unknown location. Eventually, it faded altogether. It was unknown if that was due to flying too far or if he simply fainted midway. The others who had been with him stared at the window, dumbfounded. Jackals from the same tribe. Scram. Long Chen's foot struck three more times, resulting in three more screams as they all flew out of the window, their bones broken. Just as he was about to strike the last one, that person hastily raised his hands. Brother, I won't trouble you. I'll do it myself. That person took off his shoe and struck his own butt with it. Just like the others, he screamed and then jumped out of the window. Long Chen was too confused to even react. Before he could react, that fellow had already run. Who would have thought that this fellow actually had some smarts? He had escaped this kick. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu then quivered with laughter. On this one day, they had laughed more than the past few months together. Meanwhile, the other guests eating were too scared to make a sound. The ones to come eat here were disciples, workers, and managers. But they had never seen such a vicious character. That was especially true when they spotted Mu Qingyan beside him. Her name was quite famous here. Seeing her standing behind Long Chen like he was the leader, those people couldn't help guessing what his status was. Big sister, eat here in peace. If your money came honorably, you can have a clear conscience eating here. This world never has anything like people who are higher or lower. Just be your best self and ignore those idiots, said Long Chen to the pregnant woman. She was originally pale with fright, but seeing him smile, the image of a fiend vanished, seemingly becoming a friendly neighborhood boy. Many thanks, she said. Waiter, bring this big sister two snowflake beef, a white tail sorry, and a white cut snow chicken. I'll pay later, said Mu Qingyan to a waiter who was hiding. Senior apprentice sister, I've already eaten my fill. I can't eat that much. That's all right. If you can't finish it. Bring it with you, even if you don't want it. That child inside you might want some, said Mu Qingyan with a smile. That pregnant woman's eyes reddened. She couldn't help crying as she thanked Mu Qingyan. After that, Long Chen and Mu Qingyan ascended another level, arriving at a private room. Mu Qingyan had Long Chen sit in the lead position, but Long Chen refused no matter what, so Mu Qingyan took that position. Everyone had just sat down when a group of disciples wearing the robes of the law enforcers also walked in. May I ask where instructor Long Chen is? Asked one of those disciples politely with a smile. Chapter 2824 All a misunderstanding? They had come directly to Long Chen and the others and were staring right at them. But they first asked who Long Chen was. Their apprehension was obvious. I am Long Chen. Long Chen spoke. He already knew what they had come for. He had just beaten Pan Mingxiang. So it was too early for law enforcement disciples to appear for that. Even if Pan Mingxiang reported it, the response wouldn't be so fast. For these law enforcement disciples to come now, it was clearly due to the matter of smashing the flying boat. That timing sounded about right. Ah, Instructor Long Chen, let me first make it clear. We are only in charge of investigating some testimony. We have no intention of targeting you. If those people say some offensive things, I hope you won't mind. We're just carrying out our duty, said the head disciple. The fear in his eyes was clear. 
Long Chen had injured hundreds of people by attacking the flying boat. Those people all had broken bones. After that, those people had reported Long Chen to the Discipline Institute. As for the elder on duty, it was the one that Long Chen had previously slapped. That elder had also been the one to report Long Chen to the Divine Lightning Elder. The fury of being slapped had made him come up with a plan to incite a conflict between the two of them. Hence, he vaguely reported that Long Chen was an emissary of the Pill Institute who had come to cause trouble in the God Institute. Considering that their relationship was bad from the start, and adding the Divine Lightning Elder's explosive temperament, his plan went well. The Divine Lightning Elder had furiously gone to find Long Chen. However, not long after, the Divine Lightning Elder returned. Before the Discipline Elder could even ask the Divine Lightning Elder how it went, the latter kicked him so hard that he coughed up blood and almost died. The Divine Lightning Elder furiously swore, Next time you treat me like an idiot, I'll kill you. The kick left the Discipline Elder with serious injuries, and he had to quickly consume some medicinal pills to suppress them. After investigating, he almost died of rage. Using some unknown sorcery, Long Chen had actually become brothers with the Divine Lightning Elder. When he heard that news, he coughed up blood and directly fainted. The disciples then hastily supported him, feeding him medicinal pills. He was unconscious for over two hours before he woke up. Unfortunately, as soon as he was awake, another disciple came to report that people were accusing Long Chen of attacking their flying boat, injuring them and almost costing the lives of everyone on the flying boat. If it was before he was kicked by the Divine Lightning Elder, he would definitely jump in excitement, but now he was afraid. The Seven Star Elder was not an easy existence to provoke, while the Divine Lightning Elder definitely couldn't be provoked. As for this evil star known as Long Chen, he no longer wanted to provoke it either. Due to some connections, he was supposed to stand on these disciples' side. However, he was now afraid. He had an idea to pretend that he was ill and couldn't go out, but if that happened, the news of him being kicked by the Divine Lightning Elder would spread like wildfire. That would be too embarrassing. After thinking and thinking, he decided to first send people to probe Long Chen's attitude. Once a full investigation was done, he could make his decision on how to toss away this scalding sweet potato. He could easily stall this matter a few days and leave it to a different elder then he could relieve himself of this responsibility and just watch the show. However, the disciples he told to ask Long Chen about what happened turned green. Just what kind of existence was Long Chen? He killed people without batting an eye. Wasn't questioning him just asking to die? If done well, they would just be slapped a few times. Done badly, their lives would be gone. No one wanted to take this task. In the end, the task had fallen to this unfortunate fellow, but he had no way to decline because that elder was his master. If he didn't go, he would have no way of living in the God Institute, so he could only thicken his face and come. That expression of his looked like he wanted to cry. The other disciples who came with him stood far behind, as if too afraid to even get close to Long Chen. It's fine, you can ask your questions. I'm actually a very even tempered person said Long Chen indifferently. Even tempered? That disciple's expression turned odd. Were the stories just scary ghost stories? Seeing the law enforcement disciples quivering, Mu Qingyan and the others almost laughed. Just who was questioning who? Due to their special status, law enforcement disciples always appeared arrogant. Although they didn't usually cause trouble themselves, they were so tyrannical that they always spoke with an interrogating tone Novaloon.com Although Mu Qingyan and the others could be considered courteous, the other disciples on this floor couldn't be described in that manner. Law enforcement disciples were not well liked within the God Institute. Hence, seeing them looking like they were going to piss themselves from fear, these disciples laughed. It was unknown just how hard it was for Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu to hold themselves back. The law enforcement disciple took out a notebook and carefully said, A small hunting squad reported that instructor Long Chen, you, wanted to kill them. I myself definitely don't believe such an accusation, nor will our discipline institute be biased and only hear one side. So, we want to hear your explanation. 
Is it convenient for you to explain did they not mention why they decided to kill our flying mount? Asked Long Chen. They said it was due to loss of control. It was a misunderstanding. Answered the law enforcement disciple. A misunderstanding? Yes. This matter was truly just a misunderstanding. Long Chen nodded with a smile. Ah uh, what does that mean? Asked the disciple. We were just riding on a flying immortal beast when something flew out and tried to smash into us. Fortunately, I was fast enough to run, or we would have been killed. Just think about it. If someone wanted to kill you, wouldn't you counterattack? Yes. The disciple nodded. Exactly. My first thought was that someone was invading the academy and killing people. So I attacked back. After my attack landed, senior apprentice sister King Ian told me that it was actually a hunting flying boat. But by that time, everything was over. So just like they said, it really was a misunderstanding. I'm glad that the misunderstanding has been cleared up. Since no one was damaged, this matter can be concluded here, said Long Chen magnanimously. Those law enforcement disciples stared at him oddly. They had personally seen those hunting disciples. Their injuries were severe. Some people were crushed into pancakes, and some had almost lost their lives. This was considered no damage? Are there any questions? If not, we're about to eat. Would you like to join us? Asked Long Chen. No. I mean, no. We won't disturb you any longer. Have a nice day. Said that disciple. With this, it was clear that it was the hunting party causing trouble. But they had caused trouble for the wrong party. The hunting party couldn't possibly admit that they had intentionally crashed into someone. As for Long Chen, he acted like he didn't recognize their flying boat. By saying that he thought they were invaders, they couldn't do anything to him, considering his background. This matter would definitely be glossed over just like this. In any case, they had a rough understanding of what happened. As for any real decisions, it would be up to that elder. They had finished their mission without being beaten. That was enough for them to light incense. Just as they were about to leave, another group of law enforcement disciples furiously stamped up the stairs. Who is Long Chen? Get the hell out here. Chapter 2825 Have them scram this new group of disciples came with blazing killing intent. They were also carrying a stretcher. The person lying on the stretcher was precisely Pan Mingxing, who was still curled up like a shrimp. Long Chen's kick had broken his coccyx. Even with spirit medicines, it was not something that would heal in one or two days. Hence, he was in immense pain. These law enforcement disciples were his big brother's good friends. As soon as he was lifted up, he went to find them. These people were quite brotherly, so they directly came to find justice for Pan Mingxing. However, after shouting, their leader suddenly noticed something off. He saw another group of law enforcement disciples. Squad leader? What are you doing here? The one who had just come to interrogate Long Chen was actually a part of the first group's squad. He was nothing more than a subordinate. Do you want to die? What are you shouting here for? The squad leader pelted him with curses. The one being cursed lowered his head, not knowing what was going on. His relationship with this squad leader was normally pretty good. Why was he being cursed? Squad leader, we came to find Long Chen, he said, not comprehending. Shut up. Is the name of instructor Long Chen something you can say? Cursed the squad leader. Instructor? He's an instructor. The disciple was startled and looked at Pan Mingxing on the stretcher. Pan Mingxing had told them that Long Chen was nothing more than an ascender from the lower world. Someone with no background. Was there a mistake? They definitely wouldn't have come to find trouble for an instructor. Pan Mingxing was filled with disbelief. The Long Chen I'm talking about is the one in those black clothes. Doesn't he look like a beggar? Is there some mistake? Shut up. The squad leader shouted. In the entire academy, other than Long Chen, almost no one wore black. Who else could it be? The squad leader didn't care about Pan Mingxian really, but he did care about his subordinate's life. As the latter gradually came to understand that this matter was not ordinary, he wisely shut his mouth. Instructor Long Chen, I didn't discipline my subordinate properly, causing them to offend you. Do you think you can let them off due to their youth and ignorance? I don't want to ruin your meal. The squad leader begged Long Chen. The newcomers were dumbfounded. What was going on? 
Even an instructor wasn't qualified to make their squad leader act like this, right? Have them scram, said Long Chen. Many thanks. The squad leader indicated for them to leave, but before they could take more than a couple of steps, Long Chen's voice rang out once more. I told you to have them scram. Did you not understand? Understood. Understood. Cried out the squad leader. All of you can roll the hell down. One what those disciples were dumbfounded. What are you hesitating for? Roll. The squad leader grabbed one of them and kicked him in the butt. With a painful cry, he rolled down the stairs. The others also helplessly thickened their faces and began rolling down. The squad leader grabbed Pan Mingxiang, wanting to throw him down. That was because in his current state, he couldn't move. So he had to be helped by others. Hey, wait a moment. My brother is Pan Mingying. You must know him. He'll be returning soon, cried Pan Mingxiang. He's already back. Most of his bones are currently broken, and he's in a worse state than you. Are you still hoping for help from him? Idiot. If it weren't for you, would all this have happened? Get going. The squad leader kicked Pan Mingxiang in the butt. Pan Mingxiang then screamed and rolled down. Medicine had been applied to his coccyx, but it had only recovered a bit, and that wound was torn open once more. Furthermore, he was even more sensitive in this state. This roll almost cost him his life. He screamed like a dying pig as he rolled down before he eventually fainted. Once the squad leader and the others were finally gone, everyone else on that floor finally burst into laughter. Third brother, why aren't you laughing? Asked Zhang Ling. Long Chen still seemed serious, but it was precisely that serious appearance that made her unable to hold back her laughter. Maybe my threshold for laughter is just a bit high. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Before this, he would also have laughed like this. However, after experiencing the Battle of the Martial Heaven Continent's destruction, it felt like his heart had been destroyed along with the continent. He had yet to fully recover from the impact of that battle. Although he knew he had to persevere and let go of that burden so that he could relax, he knew that would require more time. He had to find his biological parents, reconvene with his brothers, and find his women. As a nine-star heir, it seemed there were far too many secrets within him. He needed to uncover them bit by bit. He had many things to do. Although he knew that he had to take things one step at a time, that he needed to relax in order to do these things well. He still felt immense pressure. Only someone bearing the same burden would know just how heavy it was. The food quickly arrived. These were delicacies of the immortal world. Not only were they delicious, but they were also greatly beneficial to the body. However, the price was also quite considerable. Just from Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu's expressions, it could be seen that this was a rare opportunity for them. The food was excellent. However, the wine was lacking. After drinking the wine god palace's wine, Long Chen felt that the immortal world's wine was as insipid as water. However, Mu Qingyan and the others seemed to have a low tolerance to the wine. Their cheeks quickly became red. On the other hand, Long Chen never declined any wine and continued drinking until he was several jugs in without changing expression. Mu Qingyan repeatedly praised his capacity. As they ate and drank, the atmosphere loosened. Long Chen finally learned a bit about the disciples of the God Institute. The God Institute could be said to be split between three tiers, heaven, earth, and human. These three represented three different realms. For them, disciples in the mortal transcendence realm, they were only at the human tier. Although Mu Qingyan and the others had almost fully expelled their mortal chi, they had yet to condense their divine flames. Thus, they were unable to expel that final trace of mortal chi and were still in the mortal transcendence realm. Each tier had a ranking based on combat power. Those who were able to enter the rankings were given plentiful rewards every month. Thus, the competition in the God Institute was quite intense. This competition was kept under control with various rules, but there were also loopholes. One rule was that anyone on the human rankings could challenge anyone. If they succeeded, they would take the other person's ranking. If they lost, then their name would fall from the rankings. In order to get back on the rankings, they would have to wait until next month for another challenge. But that would cost them a month of the rewards. Does our side have only a few people on the rankings? Asked Long Chen when he saw Mu Qingyan's indignant expression. 1. 
This word for scram also means roll. Chapter 2826 Declining to join according to true power. Our people would at least occupy 70% of the human rankings. However, the other side possesses stronger individuals. And those bastards are absolutely despicable. They use people that are higher ranked to squeeze us out. Let me give you an example so that you understand. One of our members managed to get to the 56th rank. Then they used someone in the 20s to challenge us, resulting in us losing. The challenger fell to rank 56th, while his own position became empty, leaving it to others to fight for it. As a result, they control many of the spots in the divine rankings. It's difficult for us to get on the rankings consistently. So right now, we only occupy a tenth of the spots on it, explained Mu Kingian angrily. Does the God Institute not care about such a giant loophole? Asked Long Chen. This loophole has been present for countless years. It's been abused and reported countless times. But the God Institute has never said anything about it, sighed Mu Kingian. So are there two factions right now? Yes. They call themselves the Prime Glory Alliance. Their leader is ranked one of the human rankings. Chu Kuang, said Mu Kingian. Long Chen shook his head and scoffed. Was that name made by an idiot? In my world, anyone named this ended up having a terrible end. What was up with his parents? Was he born in the wild? Mu Kingian laughed and said, Brother Long really is interesting. Chu Kuang is just like his name. He lives up to the Kuang in his name. So he is wild and arrogant. With his family background, he does whatever he wants. It's extremely irritating. Does the God Institute not do anything? Is his father the Institute head? Asked Long Chen curiously. No, that's not it. Although his background is powerful, in the God Institute, he still has to follow the rules. When I say that he is wild and arrogant, it is still within the limits of the rules. He bullies and suppresses others but none of the rules of the God Institute can catch him. The Chu family also has connections amongst the higher-ups. Those connections make him unbridled, and his subordinates are the same. They're all loathsome, said Mu Kingian hatefully. Chu Kuang is the worst though. When our big sister Kingian first came, he envied her beauty interjected Zhang Ling. Zhang Ling, don't spout nonsense, scolded Mu Kingian, blushing slightly. How is it nonsense? Chu Kuang is the one who tried to pursue you, and then when he failed, he started to threaten you before constantly finding trouble for you. Third brother, tell me, don't you think that this Chu Kuang is an absolute bastard? Demanded Zhang Ling righteously. Long Chen nodded. A great woman can be pursued, but when you fail, you must admit defeat. Did this Chu Kuang read so few books that he doesn't even understand this principle? His actions are like a child who didn't get what he wanted. How shameless just his name and Zhang Ling's description of what he had done were enough for Long Chen to know what kind of person he was. Although the story was most likely biased, Long Chen's own judgment was rarely wrong. Exactly. That bastard is precisely a bastard. The scum of humanity. A degenerate. But his talent for cultivation is truly high. We can't beat him. After cursing a while. Zhang Ling deflated slightly. After all, he was the existence ranked first one the human rankings. Mu Qingyan had challenged him many times and was always defeated. She also had to endure his dirty mouth during those times. Let's not talk about those things. Today is a celebration for Brother Long. Don't bring up those vexing things. Drink some more wine. Mu Qingyan took a breath and expelled those thoughts. Just as they drank more, Zhang Ling suddenly said, Third brother, you're so amazing. If your mortal chi is expelled, I feel like you'd have the power to fight Chu Kuang. Why don't you join our unfettered alliance and help us beat the Prime Glory Alliance? Otherwise, even if you're just a teacher, they'll still keep making things hard on you. But together, we'll be able to beat them. Everyone's gaze fell on Long Chen, their eyes full of expectation. Long Chen smiled. This girl looked so innocent, but she was a little minx. She was actually pulling him in at this time. However, he shook his head. My apologies. To tell the truth, fighting on this level really doesn't interest me in the slightest. It might sound bad, but your fighting to me looks like children playing house. It's far too childish in my eyes. I have my own important mission here at the High Firmament Academy. 
and I'm doing my best to increase my power as fast as possible to face future crises. I've already failed once. I don't want to fail a second time. So I truly apologize. I don't want to be drawn into this game of yours. Zhang Ling was instantly disappointed. Even her eyes reddened. She had thought that Long Chen would definitely join. At this moment, the atmosphere around their table became awkward. Fortunately, there was a master like Mu Qingyan who said, That's fine. Even if you don't join us, we still have the same enemies. There are many areas we can work together in. Furthermore, now that you're an instructor, with our relationship, we'll definitely have priority in your lessons. That's right. Even if you don't join us, we'll still be friends. Third brother, when you're teaching us, don't hold back, exclaimed Zhang Ling. Long Chen smiled. Drinking some wine, he said. All of you are quite talented, but you're all greenhouse flowers. It's not just you. All the disciples that I've seen in this academy are the same. Your experiences decide your power. Do you really want to become strong? Of course we want to become strong. Zhang Ling clenched her little fists. Why do you want to become stronger? Asked Long Chen solemnly. I don't want to be bullied then how great is your motivation I'll do whatever it takes. Said Zhang Ling. All right then. Long Chen sighed. Third brother. What is it? Did I answer wrong? Asked Zhang Ling worriedly. Every person has their own answers. There is no right or wrong. Perhaps one day you will experience true pain. Then you will understand why you cultivate Long Chen looked out the window. Pain in his eyes. When he looked at Zhang Ling and the others, it felt like he was seeing himself in his youth. Perhaps the price for getting stronger was to lose everything that you had. Three days later, accompanied by Mu Qingyan and the others, Long Chen headed toward the God Institute's main palace for the official ceremony of his new position. As soon as he appeared, countless sharp gazes fell toward him. They were like blades trying to stab through him. Chapter 2827 Official Ceremony There was a ceremony to officially bestow titles to the new instructors every three months. And Long Chen's luck wasn't bad. He was promoted just a few days before the ceremony. If he missed it, it would take another three months. This ceremony was quite significant. Many of the disciples of the God Institute came to watch, especially the new ones. One reason was to get a look at these new instructors, but the main thing was to decide which instructors' lessons they would buy with their money. There were millions of disciples present. It was a veritable sea of people. However, all these people didn't dare to make a sound. At the front of the palace was a large stage with three levels. At the bottom were nine positions. At the middle were three positions and the highest only had one position. The nine people at the bottom were the human-ranked instructors. At the middle were the earth masters, and at the very top was the kindly heaven master Yun Yang. It was said that there were over 8,000 instructors in the God Institute. They had 580 at the human rank, 36 at the earth rank, and only 4 at the heaven rank. Mortal-ranked instructors were limitless, but rising in rank was extremely difficult. There were strict requirements, and the numbers didn't change. In order to take the test to be a human-ranked instructor, you needed to squeeze out the last place human-ranked instructor. The earth rank was the same. As for the heaven rank, well, at that level, Mu Qingyan wasn't qualified to know the inner details. The human, earth, and heaven masters that had appeared now were all existences with high statuses. However, Long Chen noticed that other than Heaven Master Yun Yang, the others didn't seem too friendly with him. In fact, some of them were glaring at him with clear hostility. Long Chen, make sure to control your temper. This ceremony is actually another kind of exam if you fail. You might lose your qualifications. Be careful, whispered Mu Qingyan. I'll do my best. Long Chen nodded. Control? If he could control himself, he wouldn't be Long Chen. If things went well, then good. If they didn't, then he would think of something else. Mu Qingyan had to join the crowd as a disciple, so she was only able to send him to this point. She then watched as Long Chen stepped forward on his own. Who is that? His mortal chi is so strong. Is he a disciple? Curious. If his mortal chi is so dense, how did he pass the exam to enter the God Institute? Does he have connections? But even then, the cheating is far too obvious. 
Quite a few people spoke up when they saw him. They were also newcomers, and many of them didn't even know Mu King Gion's name. They were simply astonished that someone with such dense mortal chi had passed the exam to enter the God Institute. The God Institute's normal requirements were for someone to have expelled at least 70% of their mortal chi. Only then were they qualified to join. However, Long Chen's mortal chi was so dense that it was clear he hadn't even expelled 30% of it. For him to appear here, it astonished countless people. They also felt disappointment in the God Institute's examinations. Although they had also seen other kinds of cheating along the way, they had never seen it be so blatant. What is he doing? He's walking toward the stage. Just at that moment, an uproar arose. They saw Long Chen walk to where the other instructors were. In front of their dumbfounded gazes, he stood with them. If Long Chen joined the God Institute as a disciple through his connections, then fine. But to become an instructor? Just what kind of flagrant cheating was that? If you novices don't know anything, then don't prattle. Do you know who that person is? That's the most vicious newcomer in thousands of years. If you keep blindly talking about him, you might cause a calamity to descend upon yourself, said one person to those questioning disciples. Senior apprentice brother, is there some story behind this? Asked one person curiously. A story? It's practically a legend. That black-robed senior apprentice brother is surnamed Long. His given name is Chen. And he sometimes calls himself Master Long San. He ascended from the lower plane. When he arrived in the immortal world, he came to the academy to register. He found this process dislikable. So he directly became a worker. In just a few days, he became a high-level worker and qualified to take the exam to be a disciple. Saving a huge amount of time. He passed the Pill Institute's exam with full marks, but then on the first day of classes, he beat up an instructor. Despite that, he was only disciplined by taking away some rewards for new probationary disciples. He then went to the God Institute to take the trial to become an instructor there, passing with full marks in all trials once more. When someone tried to contest him, he killed the expert ranked 97 on the human rankings. When he stood trial for this, he also beat up the disciplinary elder. Even the third rank Zhang Changshen was slapped in the face and didn't dare to retaliate. Furthermore, one of the four pillars of the God Institute, the Divine Lightning Elder, called him brother at first sight. Two days ago, a group of idiots from the Prime Glory Alliance used their flying boat to smash into him, enraging him. Master Long San almost killed all of them. A boat of people almost went to see a Yama King. Tell me. Do you think such a figure is someone that you can comment on? Wherever there were people, there was gossip. Some people even specialized in this area. Long Chen wasn't aware that in just a few short days, his name had spread throughout the entire God Institute. Only some newcomers who had just passed the exams were still in the dark about him. At this moment, many people had already heard his story. One person passed it to ten. Ten passed it to a hundred. Until everyone heard it. These fresh newcomers were all stunned upon hearing this story. This person was absolutely vicious. Originally, they had thought that Long Chen had used his connections to reach this point. But even then, even if he had used a backdoor that required a certain power and gods, he beat up an instructor on his very first day? Just how heaven-defying were his gods? In truth, the reason Long Chen's name spread so quickly was also thanks to Mu King Gion and the others' efforts. Although Long Chen didn't join their unfettered alliance, he remained friends with them. Hence, the greater his fame, the more that they would benefit. Thus, when outsiders asked them what had happened to them, they didn't hold anything back. They explained it all in great detail. They were friends. While the Prime Glory Alliance had drawn Long Chen's ire multiple times now, they were definitely going to be enemies. Since that was the case, the greater Long Chen's name, the greater of an impact it would have on the Prime Glory Alliance, and the more beneficial it would be to the Unfettered Alliance. Uproars continued to rise throughout the crowd as people explained to the newcomers just how terrifying Long Chen was. Mu King Gion smiled slightly. It was as if she was watching a new star rise within the God Institute Novaloon.com CM The ceremony has commenced. Mortal Ranked Instructors, step forward. It's time for the final test. 
the final test. Upon hearing someone shout that, quite a few expressions changed. Chapter 2828 Stunning everyone Long Chen was surprised. He noticed that a significant portion of the mortal ranked instructors standing with him looked worried by this. Long Chen was unaware that this was different from past ceremonies. In the past, it was just the human ranked instructors asking some questions, while the Earth Masters graded them. As for the Heaven Masters, they were only there to confer the official status plates. They had never heard of a final test. There were over 200 people standing with Long Chen, and almost half of their expressions changed. This also included some of the human and earth ranked instructors. At this moment, Heaven Master Yun Yang smiled and said, According to the reports that we received from disciples, some of our mortal ranked instructors were abusing their positions. Moreover, some new disciples only passed due to their connections with these corrupt instructors. Even a single bad apple can spoil the entire bunch, and this damages the prestige of the academy. Of course, we can't simply believe people's words, but in order to ensure the longevity of the academy, I feel like an investigation is a must to determine everyone's innocence. Long Chen pondered these words. All the God Institute's higher up seemed to possess their own wisdom and foresight. Had he been fooled by what he had seen on the surface? Zhao Yiyang, step forward for the test, announced a law enforcement disciple, reading off of a scroll, that Zhao Yiyang stepped forward. As soon as he pressed his hand against the testing stones, startled cries rang out. 107. He's already 107 years old. Someone over 80 isn't allowed to take the test to become an instructor. There was an age limit on new mortal ranked instructors. That was because these new instructors had to continue their own cultivation and study in order to progress to the human, earth, and heaven ranks. Someone who had lost their sharpness and their drive was unacceptable for this position. It was because the God Institute did not wish to spend so many resources on mortal ranked instructors with no future prospects. As the very first one to be tested was revealed to be cheating. It caused quite an uproar, that Zhao Yiyang was filled with disbelief. He began to sweat and he clenched his hand. At this moment, the law enforcement disciple grabbed Zhao Yiyang's wrist, forcing his hand open. A tiny crystal then appeared, twinkling with a blood-colored light. Blood bone rune. It's often used for cheating age tests. Did you think you would be able to slip through this time? Sneered the law enforcement disciple. An earth master stood and shouted angrily, How brazen, you dare to cheat. Have him instructor Ming say, Don't be anxious, let them continue, said heaven master Yun Yang. That earth master Ming Zhe could only sit. Long Chen then looked at Ming Zhe and smiled slightly. This fellow's guilt was clear to him. Hence, the problem probably wasn't as simple as had been announced. The test once more continued. They were the same tests as before but now they were held for everyone to see. Since everyone could clearly see the testing process, there was no way to cheat. Three people were unable to lift the heavy spear, while the pellet and wooden puppet tests were even more chaotic. Half the people who had supposedly passed these exams now failed to meet the requirements. The disciples were in an uproar. As for the instructors on the stage, they were also growing uneasy. That instructor Ming Zhe said, Heaven Master, these people are too hateful. They must be severely punished. But carrying out these tests here isn't good for the image of the God Institute. If the Institute head were to learn of it, Heaven Master Yun Yang asked, What image? Does the God Institute have a certain image? That doesn't matter. There is nothing about the God Institute that cannot be shown to everyone. If we made a mistake, then we must admit it and correct it. Concealing it would be wrong, don't you think? Yes. Heaven Master is correct Ming Zhe might be a respected Earth Master, but his status was clearly not enough in front of Heaven Master Yun Yang. Seeing Ming Zhe's unease, Long Chen smiled with ridicule. This Ming Zhe was definitely aware of this corruption and cheating. If the investigation pursued who had helped these people, he would probably be exposed. Other instructors on stage also acted calm on the surface, but their unease did not escape Long Chen. Long Chen laughed inside and looked at Heaven Master Yun Yang. The latter was silently removing a tumor. As expected, upon reaching that level, there was not one incapable person. This was also appropriate. 
If this corruption continued, it would probably reach all the way to the foundation of the entire academy. At this moment, Long Chen's turn arrived. He easily picked up the spear, causing quite a few people to cry out in shock. That spear was shockingly heavy, yet Long Chen picked it up like nothing, let alone the disciples. Even the other instructors were dumbfounded. Just how powerful was his physical body? If Long Chen was a large muscular man, perhaps they would find it comprehensible. But Long Chen didn't look so big. Next was the pellet dodging and striking the wooden puppets. Long Chen gracefully passed through them. That easy appearance of his drew out shocked cries from countless disciples. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu also cheered loudly for him, although they heard that he had passed with full marks. Personally witnessing it was another thing. Long Chen passed through without pause. The pellets and puppets were unable to touch even his clothes. Although there had been people who passed with full marks in this exam before, they were still very few in number. Furthermore, they had not done it as easily as Long Chen. Luck had also been a factor. On the other hand, Long Chen had passed with full marks twice, and while looking extremely at ease at that, that already showed everyone what absolute power was. Even Heaven Master Yun Yang was moved. From the first moment he had seen Long Chen, he had known that Long Chen was an extremely powerful person. That sharp gaze of his was concealing a frightening killing intent, so his battle experience had to be immense. However, when Heaven Master Yun Yang personally watched Long Chen pass, he knew that the latter hadn't used any supreme battle skills or techniques. Instead, it seemed that the instincts of the battlefield had merged with his soul, stunning the Heaven Master. It seems that the God Institute has picked up a treasure. This has to be reported to the Institute head. Heaven Master Yun Yang couldn't stop himself from smiling. Chapter 2829 Long Chen's Killing Intent When Long Chen passed the exam, all the disciples exploded in cheers. They had never seen such a suave and graceful movement art. That was Long Chen's intention. After all, if he wanted to do well in this academy, being blindly Loki was not the answer. Only by showing his power would the academy view him favorably, and only then would they be inclined to give him more resources. This opportunity was his best chance to show off a bit. However, even though he perfectly revealed his power, he didn't appear to be intentionally showing off. His indifferent display of power coincidentally manifested the arrogance of a Loki expert. Even his tattered black robes didn't cover up his heroic air at this moment. He appeared especially conspicuous, as every other disciple present was wearing white robes. The image of Long Chen passing so easily was particularly stimulating due to just how many people failed wretchedly before him. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu's throats were worn out from the shouting, but they continued to cheer. In the end, everyone finished the tests. Half of them were caught and suspected of cheating. However, for some of them, there was no proof that they had previously cheated as perhaps they had passed through luck. Thus, they were all simply taken away for further investigation. The remaining people had passed. However, they weren't smiling. Compared to Long Chen, their displays were terrible, even though they had passed. Following that, Heaven Master Yun Yang distributed the tablets and robes to the new instructors. This symbolized that they were officially instructors of the God Institute and would be given the appropriate fame and fortune. However, when it was Long Chen's turn, he didn't receive them. Instead, he said, Heaven Master, this junior has a request. Oh, what is it? Asked Heaven Master Yun Yang. Is it possible for me to continue wearing my clothes rather than the instructor robes? Asked Long Chen. How brazen. You've just been promoted. How dare you make such a rude request? These robes are a symbol of an instructor's status and image. Instructors must wear their robes and status badge at all times according to the God Institute's rules. Are you trying to change the rules of the Institute? Shouted Earth Master Miang Zhe. Long Chen frowned. Was this Miang Zhe an idiot? He himself was not free from his plight yet, but he had come to find trouble for him? If that's the case then this junior must regretfully give up on being an instructor. I will return to the Pill Institute to cultivate, said Long Chen. These robes of his were important to him. He would not switch them, nor would he wear some other color. Black was the only color he liked to wear. When Long Chen said this, everyone was stunned. What was going on? 
The robes that instructors were bestowed on were made of the best materials. As for Long Chen's black robes, they were made of materials from the mortal world and were already badly damaged. They didn't look much better than the clothes of a beggar. Would he really give up on becoming an instructor because of those robes? Was he mad? Heaven Master Yan Yang smiled and handed Long Chen the badge. He didn't say whether it was all right or not. So Long Chen simply took the badge. Heaven Master, this pampered brat is completely ignoring the rules. If we allow such a person to raise our disciples, won't the entire God Institute be flipped on its head? We can't support such an unhealthy influence, cried out Ming Zhe. Long Chen's sword suddenly came out of its sheath. A drop of blood dripped onto his new badge, and the badge flew toward Ming Zhenavaloon.com. I, Long Chen, use my status as instructor to challenge you to a life and death match. If I don't cut off your head within three exchanges, I will personally cut off my own head. Do you dare to accept? Long Chen shouted thunderously his voice full of bloody killing intent. Ming Zhe saw the badge flying toward him, and without even thinking about it, he caught it. However, as soon as he did, his expression changed. There was a rule in the God Institute. If two people had some irreconcilable enmity between them, a blood duel could be issued between them. The challenged party could accept or decline. If the challenger threw out their bloody badge, the challenge was officially accepted if the challenged party received it. In a moment of muddle-headedness, he had caught Long Chen's badge. Hence, everything fell deathly silent. You accept my challenge. Then I have to ask Heaven Master Yun Yang to bear witness to our duel. Let us have a life and death battle right here right now, said Long Chen coldly. Long Chen didn't mind killing Ming Zhe right here as the latter had repeatedly targeted him. If he could kill Ming Zhe, it would definitely show his prestige. After experiencing the cruel destruction of the Martial Heaven continent, Long Chen knew just how important time was. He was not intending on wasting any time being dragged down by brainless people. Every bit of time wasted was losing a chance to get stronger. When the time came, the price would have to be paid. Back then, that mysterious voice had been constantly pressing him onward, telling him to hurry up. Long Chen had never known what its intent was. However, after the Battle of the Martial Heaven Continent, he hated that he had wasted so much time. If he was given another chance, he wouldn't waste the slightest chance. Perhaps then the Martial Heaven Continent wouldn't be destroyed, and so many people wouldn't be dead. After ascending, he had sworn not to waste any time. However, there were always people trying to slow him down and block his path. Hence, the current Long Chen had placed Ming Zhe on his list of people to kill. Although Ming Zhe's aura was powerful, with his realm being who knew how much higher than Long Chen's, he was nothing more than a pencil pusher, not a true fighter. Hence, Long Chen was confident in killing him. Both the disciples and the other instructors were dumbfounded. This Long Chen was terrifying. If he didn't kill this Earth Master in three moves, he would kill himself? That was too ruthless, wasn't it? You. I. Ming Zhe panicked. Looking at Long Chen's icy gaze, he felt like a primordial beast was staring at him. His heart almost leaked out of his chest. The reason why Ming Zhe could reach his current level of prestige was because back then, he had accumulated a great deal of experience and knowledge. However, after becoming an Earth Master, he had grown comfortable. It was unknown just how many years it had been since he last fought with someone. Now, he was afraid. What? Are you regretting receiving my badge? If you want to renege, according to the God Institute's rules, you have to scram. Either fight or scram. Your choice, said Long Chen. Everyone's hearts pounded. They stared at Ming Zhe. A life and death battle between two instructors. Perhaps in the entire history of the God Institute, such a thing had only occurred a few times. No, Chapter 2830 God Institute's elite group Long Chen pointed his sword at Ming Zhe, and an invisible mental pressure suddenly locked down on him, causing Ming Zhe's hair to stand on end. This mental pressure was not related to spiritual strength. It was a kind of will, a determination to kill. This will of Long Chen's had been tempered through endless slaughter. Ming Zhe had never experienced such a bloody battle in all his life. Hence. All his terror was dragged out of his heart by this pressure. Although he tried to suppress it, his face turned white. 
The terror in his eyes was not concealed in the slightest. Everyone could see it. An earth master was actually terrified? The disciples were in an uproar. Just what kind of past did Long Chen have? Why was he so terrifying? Was he really a newcomer? Heaven Master Yan Yang said. Instructor Long Chen, since you've accepted the badge, your current status is that of an instructor. Although instructors can privately settle their disputes, such an extreme battle must go through an inquiry, and the institute head must approve of it. This direct challenge of yours can be declined by instructor Ming Zhe. Furthermore, a life and death match requires irreconcilable enmity between the two sides. Your actions are not in accordance with the rules. Hearing this, Ming Zhe instantly relaxed, and a giant weight fell from his shoulders. However, he still said, Long Chen, since you're a youth, I won't quibble with you over your impetuous nature. Did you really think that I am afraid of a little fellow whose mortal chi has yet to regress? In the God Institute, all things are in accordance with the rules, especially for instructors. You must be an example, but who would follow the lead of someone as childish as you? How laughable. He said these things in order to save a bit of face. However, by saying this, he had accidentally told everyone that he was afraid. I, Long Chen, came to the High Firmament Academy to cultivate. I have many important things to do, and I don't have time to waste being stalled by idiots like you. I don't care if you have fights and competition with others, nor do I feel like interfering in your childish games. But anyone who blocks my cultivation is my enemy. Your foolishness can cost me my life in the future, so I will pay any price to eliminate you. Luckily, your life is spared this time, but that doesn't mean you'll be as lucky next time, said Long Chen icily. How brazen, you, Ming Zhe roared furiously, but this anger was nothing more than an act. He had to at least appear tough in front of everyone. Let us end this topic here. As instructors, Every one of your actions can influence the futures of our disciples. Take note of your words and actions. Make sure you live up to your status as instructors, said Heaven Master Yan Yang. He didn't want their conflict to grow any further. To Long Chen, he said, wearing our robes is the rule of the God Institute. It cannot be changed easily. Otherwise, without rules, the entire academy would be thrown into chaos. However, rules are dead. People can change them, but whether or not they can be changed depends on the person's power. Long Chen, you are the person with the greatest potential that I've ever seen. As a heaven master, I don't wish for such a talent to leave. That would be a loss to the God Institute. Next you'll be saying, however, right. Long Chen smiled. Heaven master Yun Yang smiled and nodded. However, rules are rules. They can't be changed randomly. If you want an exception. I can give you a chance. If you grasp this chance, you can maintain your style. Heaven Master, Ming Zhe and the others immediately shot up to indicate that they did not approve. If this back door was opened, wouldn't the God Institute be thrown into chaos? If the instructors were all given special treatments, how would they control the disciples? Heaven Master Yun Yang waved his hand, indicating for them to quiet down. He continued. Instructor Ming Zhe has a group of elites under his administration. They are famous even within the entire academy. All the instructors looked at Ming Zhe oddly when they heard this. As for Ming Zhe, his face was like that of a pig. Heaven Master, I, Ming Zhe tried to explain, but Heaven Master Yun Yang interrupted him. This elite group is composed of the elites from various regions. They've been in the God Institute for over a year now but their rate of advancement is only barely passable. This elite group has 36 people. If you can lead 10 of those people into the human tier divine rankings within one month, I will help you resolve your issue. Novaloon.com at this moment, Long Chen clearly saw Ming Zhe's relaxed smile. That smile said everything. It seems that this is not an easy task, said Long Chen. Heaven Master Yun Yang nodded. Of course. If you wish to change a tradition stretching back tens of thousands of years, how can it be so easy? Otherwise, if the Institute head blames me, I would be in trouble. All right, I'll try it, said Long Chen. If you agree to this, you cannot renege Heaven Master Yun Yang shook his head. This is not a game. This relates to the prestige of the rules of the God Institute. If you accept and win, you can change the rules. 
If you fail, you will receive the punishment of the rules. You cannot just say you refuse to do it and leave. Otherwise, there would be no need for me to risk being punished by the Institute had to give you this chance. I've brought out the God Institute's sincerity. Don't you think you should bring out your sincerity as well? How old are these people? How is their aptitude? Their cultivation basis? Asked Long Chen. He was no fool. This task was definitely at a heaven-defying level of difficulty. Or Ming Zhe wouldn't be smiling so pleased. They are all very young. They were accepted last year. And their talent is all above average. Their cultivation bases are in the late mortal transcendence realm. It's already been a year. But they remain in the late mortal transcendence realm. You wouldn't be asking me to teach a group of pigs, would you? Asked Long Chen. Heaven Master Yun Yang laughed. Of course not. However, these disciples all have certain backgrounds. They are all lazy. Despite not being strong themselves, they are quite temperamental. They are only here as gilding for the academy. In another month, that gilding period ends, and they will leave. In many people's eyes, they are a group of people that cannot be saved. If you can let a portion of them into the divine rankings, I will resolve your problem. Furthermore, if you succeed, I will ask the institute head to give you greater privileges. As long as you have the ability, you can do anything. The God Institute always views people with talent favorably. But the precondition is that your talent must be enough to draw the attention of the institute head. They're lazy and temperamental? Haha, <laughs> I just so happen to be an expert at curing such illnesses. I accept this task. Long Chen smiled. He knew that this was an incredibly rare opportunity for him. Show me what students are so hard to teach. If they refuse to grow, I'll just break them down and rebuild them into something new. There was the slightest cruel glimmer in Long Chen's eyes at this moment. Chapter 2831 Medicinal Field The ceremony was complete, and Long Chen was in the spotlight. His name truly resounded throughout the God Institute now. This time, the ceremony caused quite a stir within the God Institute, as so many people were revealed to be engaged in fraud. The entire investigator department would go through a thorough investigation, and anyone found to be participating in the fraud would face harsh penalties. It was unknown just how many people were implicated, but in any case, the cheating this time had enraged the higher-ups of the God Institute. The other matter that shook the God Institute was Long Chen's wager with Heaven Master Yun Yang. He was taking over the elite group. In order to not wear the robes of an instructor, Long Chen had made such a wager. At first, many people didn't know what this elite group was, but no wall could block gossip. Eventually, it was revealed that this elite group was composed of useless people who simply came to consume the Academy's resources. They were a group of hedonistic disciples from rich parents throughout the nearby prefectures. They refused to learn, so they were sent here to pursue their studies. In truth, they were only here because their parents had paid the academy so much money. These disciples didn't even usually attend classes. Their families had paid thousands of times the tuition fee in order to let them stay here. Their talent, aptitude, and cultivation bases weren't bad. But that wasn't their greatest attribute. Their greatest attribute was that they had money. Furthermore, they truly knew how to spend it. The people in the elite group were special within the academy. They were like a bunch of pigs being raised. In other words, even newcomer disciples that had just passed the exams could easily defeat them because their combat power was as flimsy as a piece of paper. These people weren't that well known before. But after this ceremony... Everyone knew of this curious group. This elite group was viewed as a stain on the God Institute. But Heaven Master Yun Yang had still exposed them. The God Institute had accepted them because of their money. But also because they didn't want to offend the various powers behind them. For Heaven Master Yun Yang to expose them showed that he possessed quite a bit of daring. Many people were interested in whether or not Long Chen could really win such a wager. However. They were even more curious about why Long Chen felt such a desire not to wear the white instructor robes. It had to be known that those were clothes that countless people dreamed of being able to wear. It was a symbol of their status and position. Furthermore, Long Chen had never worn anything other than his tattered black robes. Was he simply trying to show that he was different from other people? 
it was unknown just how many people throughout the God Institute were discussing this matter. But as for Long Chen, he was now in his private two-floor little house in the God Institute. Although it wasn't big, it was very refined, compared to those people who squeezed into a single cave or people lying on beds that were like coffins. This was already a giant luxury. After Long Chen was given his own house and 20,000 immortal crystals, he returned to the Pill Institute and went to find the Seven Star Elder. I've heard what happened. Youngsters really have energy. It's a good thing. But you actually even dragged me into it. The Seven Star Elder looked at Long Chen with an odd smile. Long Chen knew that the Seven Star Elder was referring to how he had used the latter's name as a backer. Long Chen chortled. I shouldn't have used your name as a backer. But you also didn't tell me just how special that status plate you gave me is. So we're even, right? I'm here to return the money that you lent me and thank you. Long Chen returned the immortal crystals he had borrowed from the Seven Star Elder. He was truly grateful to him. Although this money was nothing to the Seven Star Elder, it had been necessary for Long Chen. In the High Firmament Academy, without any money, it was difficult to advance a single step. But just by borrowing the money for the registration fee, Long Chen took a giant leap forward. His future path was fully opened, and the key to that was the unremarkable money that the Seven Star Elder had lent him. The Seven Star Elder nodded and put away the immortal crystals. You are now an instructor of the God Institute. Furthermore, Heaven Master Yun Yang has a high opinion of you. Will you still be a disciple of the Pill Institute? Long Chen smiled. I am a dual cultivator. I am an alchemist and a martial artist. The two sides will support each other. So I will have to run back to the Pill Institute quite a bit. However, the things in the Pill Institute are too expensive. I wonder if I can have a discount? On the way back, I bought a pill furnace, three of the lowest grade immortal flames, as well as some basic medicinal ingredients. Now I'm broke again. Just mentioning this made Long Chen feel aggrieved. The Pill Institute's disciples were given the most money, but the Pill Institute put the price of everything extremely high. That was why he couldn't buy whatever he wanted. You bought three low-grade immortal flames? Why? Asked the Seven Star Elder. Most people would only buy a single immortal flame seed. The price for those was rather high, so it made sense why he would be broke after buying three. I have a use for them, but it's not convenient for me to tell why. May I know if there is a way for disciples to buy medicinal wares at a discounted price? Asked Long Chen, not wanting to lie but also not wishing to say that he had bought them to nourish Huo Linger. The Pill Institute's disciples must contribute to the Pill Institute in order to enjoy a discount. Newcomers are usually unable to reach the necessary levels. In this regard, our rules are different from the God Institute, answered the Seven Star Elder. Long Chen nodded. Sects did not exist to be charities, so resources were given to those who contributed. In other words, only if you could make a profit for the academy would the academy's resources fall into your hands easier. What is it? Do you have something you need? You can tell me. If it isn't against the rules of the Pill Institute, I don't mind helping you a bit, said the Seven Star Elder. I need the ingredients for many mortal ascension pills, but the money I have on hand isn't enough to buy them. I'm impatient to expel all my mortal chi the seven star elder frowned. I don't have such low tier medicinal herbs. These kinds of introductory medicinal ingredients were things that a high tier alchemist like the seven star elder hadn't touched in years. With his status, a single word could bring in a flood of these low tier medicinal ingredients. But that would be cheating for Long Chen and was not in accordance with the rules. Just like the God Institute. The Pill Institute cared about not breaking its rules. I know. Asking you for help with such a thing is inappropriate. As a Pill Institute's disciple, don't I have to go to the medicinal field once every three months to work? I was wondering if you could send me in advance so I could gain some experience with those ingredients. If I have a chance, I could even go hunting outside and pick a few herbs for my own use. That should be no problem, right? Asked Long Chen. That is naturally no problem. You can just go tomorrow. If you're in a rush, I can send you today as well. The Seven Star Elder smiled. Haha, <laughs> then I want to go right now. Many thanks, Elder. Long Chen laughed and sped off. 
His sudden reaction was so fast that it caught the Seven Star Elder off guard. What he didn't know was that Long Chen was precisely waiting for this. Chapter 2832 Huo Linger awakens What are you looking at? Do your work. Long Chen was solemnly identifying various immortal herbs when a supervisor at the side stared at him. He saw Long Chen put away an immortal plant. He then wanted to stop Long Chen, but he didn't dare to. Here, he was the chieftain in charge of the low-tier immortal plants. When disciples of the Pill Institute came, he usually shouted and ordered them around. However, when he saw Long Chen, he didn't dare to make a sound. Although Long Chen hadn't made as big of a ruckus here in the Pill Institute, the matter of him beating up others had reached them here. As for this supervisor, he was well aware of everything, which was why he was so scared. Someone that dared to beat up instructors and elders was not someone he wished to provoke. Due to this, despite feeling aggrieved, he didn't stop Long Chen from secretly taking the plants. He wanted to stop him, but he didn't dare to. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, the precious medicines here are all accounted for. If one or two are missing, this junior brother will be able to cover it up. But if it's any more than that, the supervisor finally miserably spoke up. He was also afraid of taking responsibility for this matter. If it was someone else doing this, he would have started off cursing them and maybe even captured them. But he didn't dare to do the same to Long Chen. Oh, is that the case? All right, I won't make things hard on you. I'll only take one of every single plant, said Long Chen after a moment's thought. That person almost wept from joy and he actually personally helped Long Chen dig out the plants. Through this, Long Chen learned that this medicinal field was actually a lucrative place. This supervisor had been here for many years. Using his authority, he had stealthily moved the medicinal plants here and there. As long as he maintained the quota, the higher-ups wouldn't investigate. By planting such extras here and there, he obtained some extra medicinal ingredients that entered his pocket. However, a portion of those gains were also sent up above as a kind of offering. It was simply a way to make sure that this position of his didn't fall into someone else's hands. That was another reason why he didn't dare to report Long Chen. If he did and everything was counted, he would be exposed. Fortunately, Long Chen truly did accept just taking one each. If that was the case, he could easily cover it up. This medicinal field was only for low-tier plants. There were over 400 different species, but altogether, it was possible to refine a complete mortal ascension pill from them. That was Long Chen's main goal. Every plant the supervisor dug out was respectfully sent to Long Chen. He then gave Long Chen a small sack as well. It went without saying that this was a bribe of immortal crystals. However, Long Chen didn't accept it. Instead, he told that person not to worry, having helped him. Long Chen would find a way to repay the supervisor in the future if he had a chance. He wouldn't hurt his benefactor after achieving his goal. This person had wanted to pay Long Chen to keep his secret quiet, but Long Chen wasn't such a person. Once he was done with the medicinal field, Long Chen returned to the God Institute. In his new house, he went upstairs and entered the cultivation room. His mind then sank into the primal chaos space. The primal chaos space hadn't changed after he ascended to the immortal world. It was still quiet. However, at this time, there were two spheres of light. One was red, while one was violet. They were Huo Linger and Li Linger's cores. In the final battle of the Martial Heaven continent, both of them had used up all their power and fallen into a slumber. It seemed that ascending to the immortal world had impacted them. They didn't wake up. Instead, they remained in this state. At this moment, there were three fist-sized flames burning around Huo Linger's sphere. Those were immortal flames, also known as immortal spirit flames. There were all kinds of them, and he had bought them in order to nourish Huo Linger. These immortal flames that he had bought were flame seeds condensed by formations from the flame energy within heaven and earth. These were the lowest level immortal flames, but despite that, they were still stronger than his inverse Tao water spirit flame which was ranked 1 on the Earth Flame rankings. There was a qualitative difference between them that made it impossible to compare them. The mortal world's flames were unable to remain lit in the immortal world. This was also why Huo Linger remained in slumber. However, by seeing Huo Linger, Li Linger, the heaven-flipping seal, 
the demon moon furnace, and the moon and star refining furnace all in slumber, he could conclude that the primal chaos space was linked to the immortal world. Although the primal chaos space hadn't changed, if it was truly an isolated space, they would also be isolated and wouldn't be impacted by the immortal world's laws. Long Chen's original forest and medicinal plants had all been destroyed. Other than the Yun Yang immortal grass, the rest had all died. Originally he had thought that he had overdrawn their life energy to the point that even replenishing that life energy afterward wasn't enough to revive them. However, when he looked at the heavenly Tao tree, he saw that while its fruit had completely vanished, the patterns on its leaves and their shape seemed to have changed in many almost unnoticeable ways. The primal chaos space had to have gone through a silent transformation. Fortunately, its abilities hadn't been sealed. The pits of the various fruits that he had consumed were already growing. There were tiny saplings growing out of the ground. He then transplanted the immortal plants that he had just gained. They flourished here. Long Chen quickly grew his own medicinal field again. Regretfully, he did not possess immortal spiritual energy, and his spiritual yuan was sealed in the immortal world. Without the immortal spiritual energy of the immortal world, he couldn't quicken the rate of growth inside of the primal chaos space. Otherwise, he would be able to expedite the growth of these immortal plants. The current Long Chen was truly waiting for many things to be done. However, Right now, the most urgent one was to awaken Huo Linger. As long as Huo Linger awoke, he could refine pills. Medicinal pills were the fastest way for him to expel his mortal chi. Suddenly, Huo Linger's sphere quivered and Long Chen was delighted. He then sent his spiritual strength into the sphere, and finally there was a spiritual fluctuation from Huo Linger. Huo Linger had awoken. Rather than passively absorbing the immortal flame seeds, she was actively absorbing their power to strengthen herself. However, even then, she was absorbing them very carefully. After all, they were immortal flames, existences far stronger than her. She needed to refine them bit by bit. As the lowest level flames in the immortal world, these flames possessed almost no consciousness at all. That was why Long Chen wasn't worried about them devouring Huo Linger. He supposed that low grade flame seeds had their benefits. As Huo Linger absorbed them, her power gradually rose. The image of a dragon gradually appeared within the sphere. Clearly, Huo Linger had been reborn now that she had been brought to the immortal world. Once more becoming Huo Long, she had returned to her dragon state, and to revert to a human form would take a long time. This was almost equivalent to a kind of nirvanic rebirth. Fortunately, Huo Long's intelligence remained. Cultivating wouldn't be difficult in the future. After two hours, the three flame seeds rapidly dimmed, and a foot-long flame dragon appeared in Long Chen's hand. Huo Long then rubbed Long Chen's thumb with her head. Long Chen smiled and rubbed the flame dragon. No rush, you're still too weak, and the immortal world's laws are binding you. You can't speak yet, but we can still communicate spiritually. Long Chen took out a bronze pill furnace. This was the only pill furnace that he could use at the moment. Let's first refine a furnace of pills and see what happens. This is my first step toward sweeping through the immortal world. Upon looking at the pill furnace, his old confidence returned. Chapter 2833 First meeting with the elite group after the bronze furnace quivered. The lid popped open and a furnace of pills appeared before Long Chen. There were nine pills. None of them were trash pills but they weren't perfectly round and they had spots on them. Those were pill defects. This meant that the impurities had not been fully expelled from the pill. When the pill condensed, the flame power wasn't enough to fully expel the impurities, causing them to condense on the surface of the medicinal pill. If such pills were consumed regularly, it would be extremely harmful to the body to the point that it was necessary to consume a secondary detox liquid at the same time. Otherwise, it would harm the consumer's foundation. Middle grade, with quite a bit of distance from high grade, Long Chen couldn't help sighing. This pill furnace was absolutely garbage. Not only did it not help at all, but due to the crude runes, the heat distribution wasn't even, so it required even more spiritual strength to maintain any heat. Moreover, Huo Long had only just awoken and was not familiar with the laws of the heavenly deos of the immortal world. The other thing was that Long Chen's mortal chi had yet to regress. 
resulting in his spiritual strength being impure. Hence, these medicinal pills were unable to use his power to absorb the immortal spiritual chi in the air. No matter what, they're ten times better than those low-grade mortal ascension pills that are on sale. Their quality will only increase as they expel my mortal chi, so it's a positive cycle. Long Chen consumed one of the pills. The medicinal pill then dissolved in his body, spreading medicinal energy that was many times more potent than those mortal ascension pills that he had bought from that corrupt fatty back then. Starting today, he could refine his own pills. He was once more stepping onto the path of cultivation. If the Pill Institute were to learn that a lower world ascender was able to instantly refine middle-grade mortal ascension pills the very first time they tried, it was unknown just how many people would collapse from shock. It had to be known that the mortal world's laws were completely different from the laws of the immortal world. A normal ascender would need to fully expel all their mortal chi and then get used to this new world for at least a year before trying to refine pills. Even then, the chances of failure were extremely high. That was why there were very few mortal world ascenders within the Pill Institute. The Pill Institute did not wish to spend that much time and effort to raise lower world disciples, unless those disciples had astonishing talent and potential. Curious, my Pill Sovereign memories didn't have the mortal ascension pill formula, but as soon as I saw the formula, I instantly knew the way to refine it and the taboos. Long Chen was lost in thought. The Pill Sovereign's formulas were all from the mortal world and Long Chen didn't have any formulas for the immortal world. But as soon as he saw the pill formula, he seemed to recall it. It was a strange feeling. As soon as he saw it, it became familiar to him. There was no problem with the technique. But still, no matter how amazing the alchemy art, it would still be limited by the pill flame, furnace, and the self. The Pill Institute's rules were truly a con. There were only some extremely low-tier pill formulas available for free to the disciples. Anything higher level required a certain contribution or status to obtain for free. Based on what Long Chen saw, the relationships between the disciples of the Pill Institute weren't very good either. The disciples who could obtain higher-tier pill formulas were of a different status than the lower disciples, and the former didn't have any urge to share the formulas. All that would do was create another competitor for themselves. It was actually not forbidden for disciples to transmit and share pill formulas. But there was no one sharing them. Instead, there was another rule. The Pill Institute did not forbid disciples from buying and selling pill formulas. Thus, all the pill formulas in the Pill Institute were Long Chen's targets. However, Long Chen wasn't in a rush. Right now, everything was going in the right direction. The door was already open, so he just needed to steadily advance. Long Chen refined five furnaces of pills before he got a bit tired. This pill furnace wasn't easy to use, and his pill flame was weak. Hence, he needed to inject the spiritual chi of the world into the pill, and it was exhausting. However, after five furnaces of pills, Long Chen's mortal chi had been reduced. He felt much lighter and could almost feel the immortal spiritual chi in the air. He, next time I refine pills, I might be able to refine high-grade mortal ascension pills. Long Chen smiled when he sensed the change in his body. To be able to sense the immortal spiritual chi of the air meant that his mortal chi had been sloughed off. Immortal spiritual chi was starting to welcome him, and this would make refining pills much easier. He put away the pill furnace and told Huo Long to rest. After that, he stretched, feeling refreshed. Strength coursed through his veins. Instructor Long Chen, the disciples of the elite group have already gathered. They are awaiting your instructions. A knock came from the door. Ha ha ha. Good. Let me see just how elite these elites are. Long Chen laughed confidently. Right now, it was unknown just how many people viewed him as a joke over this wager. But Long Chen was not afraid. The more difficult the task, the more he wanted to do it. When Long Chen came out the door, a disciple hastily led the way. The flying mount had been prepared. Long Chen was experiencing the treatment of an instructor and instantly felt much more comfortable. Instructor Long Chen, how confident are you in your wager with Instructor Yun Yang? Asked the disciple bravely. Hmm, not that much, said Long Chen. How much? The disciple pursued the topic. What is it? Instructor Long Chen, please don't misunderstand. 
This matter has caused a ruckus throughout the God Institute. I'm just benefiting from your light right now. So I was hoping to get a bit of inside information. If others ask me, I'll be able to show off a bit, said that disciple. His cultivation base wasn't very high, but he was quick-witted. If someone asks you, tell them that I'm not too confident. I'm only 100% sure, said Long Chen with a laugh. A hundred percent? Are you sure? Those people are devils incarnate. They never listen to anyone. Are you being overconfident? Do you want me to explain exactly what they're like? Asked the disciple zealously. No need. I'm already clear on what kind of people they are. There's nothing impossible when it comes to me. If they make me fail, I'll tear out their tendons and rip off their skin to use as lanterns. In any case, if they fail, not one of them should even think about getting out alive, said Long Chen indifferently. The disciple quivered in fear. Wasn't that too ruthless? However, at this moment, Long Chen flew off on his mound, leaving the disciple behind. Long Chen sat on the flying mount alone and then arrived at a mountain range. There was a valley deep inside here that Long Chen had chosen. Long Chen had made an agreement with Heaven Master Yun Yang that their drills would be forbidden for others to watch. Otherwise, it would count as Heaven Master Yun Yang's loss. There was a group of people swearing and shouting noisily about something when he arrived. Long Chen fell amongst them. You are that Long Chen. Before he even spoke, one of those disciples side-eyed Long Chen, looking at him disdainfully. Crack. Long Chen reached out and wrung his neck. As a result, his body instantly collapsed, twitching, before finally coming to a stop. His aura faded away. He's dead. All the disciples were horrified. Long Chen took out a handkerchief and wiped his hands with a disgusted expression. It was like wringing that person's neck had defiled his hand. They were deathly silent as he wiped his hands. It was only when his hands were completely clean that he looked at them as if nothing had happened. Sorry, my temper isn't good. When you talk to me, you should think about what kind of tone and actions to use. Long Chen suddenly clapped his forehead. Oh no, what was that person saying just now? I was a bit too hasty and didn't listen to him. I'll trouble you to tell me what he wanted to say just now. Thanks. Chapter 2834 Long Chen's methods As soon as Long Chen arrived, he killed someone. Hence. The remaining disciples were scared out of their minds. These disciples were about to finish their studies and return back to their homes. So they were actually extremely vexed to be required to attend some sudden training. Furthermore, when they learned that they were being forced to do this because someone called Long Chen had wagered against Heaven Master Yun Yang using them as the stakes, they were incensed. Thus, even before meeting Long Chen, they hated him. However, Heaven Master Yun Yang said that if they didn't come, he would expel them. So they had no choice. Novaloon.com They had all been pondering on how they could mess with Long Chen when he suddenly arrived and killed one of them without a word. An instructor killing people? Was he really an instructor? If the academy learned of this, he would be killed. Furthermore, those who could join the elite group all had powerful backgrounds. Was this Long Chen crazy? How? How can you randomly kill people? shouted one of them finally. A sword pierced that person's chest. He then stared in shock at Long Chen, reaching toward him. However, before his arm reached Long Chen, he fell to the ground. That disciple was kicked to the side by Long Chen who then sheathed his sword. Looking at that corpse, he shook his head. Why don't you have any memory? I asked a question. By answering beside the point, are you unaware that you're wasting my precious time? Suddenly. Someone fled from the ground, running as fast as he could. As a result, an arrow shot out. That disciple then cried out as the arrow pierced through his chest with a burst of blood. He fell. Long Chen put down his crossbow and unhurriedly placed it on a nearby rock. He then sat down on the rock with a pleased expression. Looking at the terrified disciples before him, he smiled with his teeth. Don't be nervous. I'm actually very friendly. Long Chen's smile was normally very warm, very sunshiny. However, after killing three people in a row, being able to reveal such a smile made people's hair stand on end. Long Chen's teeth gave them the feeling of a bloodthirsty beast. Goosebumps covered them from the tips of their toes. However, the precondition is that you listen to me. Otherwise, 
I don't mind killing everyone here. Long Chen lightly tapped his crossbow against the rock. That light sound shook their hearts. This was no instructor. This was a devil. A devil that killed people without blinking. Hence, these disciples quivered in terror. All their arrogance from the start vanished without a trace. Perhaps you've heard some rumors before coming here. I know that none of you will cooperate with me. Thus, I have no hope of winning the bet. If you're going to make me lose, then don't even think about getting out alive. If someone like me has to get dragged by you, then there's no need for a group of resource wasters to stay alive in the immortal world, said Long Chen. Monster. This is definitely a monster. We're definitely dead. The disciples were all screaming inside. After losing his own wager, he was going to blame and kill them? As soon as they thought of death, these disciples' legs turned soft. Although in terms of cultivation, their talent was worthy of being called elite. Their actual power was only a condensation of the resources that had been spent on them. They had never seen blood before, so they were truly greenhouse flowers. Don't even think about running. This crossbow of mine is not vegetarian. Of course, if you have the guts, you can all swarm me at once. If you kill me, you'll be free. But I'd advise you to save the effort. Even if there were millions and millions of you, you wouldn't be able to even touch me. You are so weak that it surpasses my expectations. I even suspect that I should just give up on the bet and directly kill all of you before running. Long Chen frowned slightly as if debating with himself. The disciples felt chills at this consideration. After that, a disciple stepped forward, quivering. Instructor Long Chen, we're all very talented. As long as we properly cultivate, we can get onto the divine rankings. Trust us. How can a group of cowards get into the divine rankings? Even if I believe it. Do you believe it yourself? Long Chen shook his head disdainfully. Instructor Long Chen, please give us a chance. Isn't there still a month left? We can definitely succeed. Cried out another disciple. They were all afraid of death. After all, they were all existences with large influence amongst their various backgrounds. As they enjoyed endless wealth and glory. They didn't want to die here. We can testify that those people died from killing each other. It has nothing to do with you. Yes, they fought amongst each other and struck each other down. You did nothing. All of them began to nod along. As long as they could live, they would listen to Long Chen. In order to avoid him making a desperate decision to cover his tracks, they were willing to cover up how he had killed some of them. They just wanted to stall for some time. As long as the academy's people came, they could escape. That's a viable option. Long Chen nodded. Hearing that, all of them were relieved. Their lives had been spared. Everyone, come and take a pill. This pill contains poison that only I can cure. If you don't want to die, don't even think about running. Of course, you can choose not to eat it. It'll be far more direct for me to just kill you, said Long Chen, taking out a pile of pills. Silence reigned for a few seconds before reality proved that they were truly greenhouse flowers with no backbone to speak of. They all chose to consume the pill. All right, go wait at the end of the valley. I'll clean up the corpses here, said Long Chen. The elite group quickly left. When there was no one else around, those corpses on the ground began to move. Third brother, that really hurt. I thought I was really going to die. The first disciple whose neck Long Chen had wrung sat up. Third brother, you're too vicious. You acted so smoothly that I really thought you were taking it seriously. The disciple who had been pierced by his sword also sat up. His face was pale. That sword really had pierced him but had avoided his vitals. However, it was still not a light wound. The most injured one was the guy who had been pierced by an arrow. It took him a long time before he could sit up. It's been hard on you. I'll remember this favor. Long Chen patted their shoulders. In the future, the unfettered alliance would be able to ask him for anything. He, third brother, we'll take our leave. The rest is up to you. Don't disappoint us. Everyone is already betting on whether or not you can succeed. I already bet most of my wealth on you. Whether I get to eat meat or go hungry in the future is up to you. The three disciples slowly walked away while supporting each other. Chapter 2835 Guess? Long Chen went to the end of the valley. At this moment, the dispirited disciples were hanging their heads there. Hence, 
He shook his head inside. They really were a pile of useless trash. They had only come to the academy to pass the time, so the majority of their time was spent playing around. They skipped class so often to the point that the 36 people of the elite group rarely even met each other. Originally, the elite group had 43 people. However, some had left midway, saying that the academy was too hard. The remaining disciples didn't know about those people leaving. So Long Chen had borrowed three people from Mu King Gaian to dress up as them, and they were completely unaware. These people had never even set foot on the battlefield so deceiving them couldn't be easier. The 36 of them had not noticed a single clue. As soon as Long Chen arrived, those disciples stood at attention. They were all filled with terror toward Long Chen, afraid that a single wrong action would cause him to kill them. Long Chen's gaze swept through them. After that, his gaze eventually fell on a slightly chubby man amongst them. Step forward, that chubby man cautiously stepped up. The fat on his face jiggled but no one laughed at him. They all knew none of them would be any better than this if they were the one facing Long Chen. What's your name? Asked Long Chen. Guess, exclaimed the fatty. A sword came out of its sheath. Long Chen pointed it at his head, frowning. Not bad, you have guts, but I don't like guessing. Instructor Long Chen, you misunderstand. He's just stuttering. His name is Li K. One, said a disciple cautiously. This disciple was close to the fatty, so he spoke up for him. The fatty was crying out of terror. Hence, he was filled with gratitude toward this brother of his who spoke up for him. He had never been so moved in this lifetime. Long Chen was surprised. He then pulled back his sword and shook his head. You can't even say your own name without a lisp. If you didn't have a powerful background, just reporting your name might have ended up with you dying. Yes, yes. I'll change the way I report my name in the future, shouted the fatty, nodding like a chicken bobbing for grain. As a result, the fat on his face shook like waves on the sea. However, no one dared to laugh, afraid that they might draw a calamity onto themselves. Long Chen nodded. These bones of yours are good. Although your work ethic is trash, causing you to waste your potential, your father and mother managed to pass down their innate talents to you. You are the strongest in this regard amongst everyone. Really Li Ke was surprised, not expecting to get such praise from Long Chen. With your wide shoulders and thick neck, you're the perfect model for a body cultivator. The explosive power of your arms is good, but you've never trained your legs. Without a steady foundation, your upper body can't unleash its full power. If you have properly cultivated upon entering the academy, right now, you should be able to defeat the third ranker on the human rankings. Zhang Changsheng, said Long Chen. What? That's impossible. Right. Li Ke was shocked. That was something he had never even dreamed of. There's nothing impossible about it. Starting today, you're the leader of the elite corps. Your goal isn't to get on the divine rankings but to defeat Zhang Changsheng, said Long Chen. What? Can I really do it? exclaimed Li Ke. Of course you can. If you can't, I'll kill you, said Long Chen indifferently. Li Ke's delight was extinguished. If he didn't beat the third ranker, he would be killed? Stand properly. I'll train you first as an example for everyone, barked Long Chen. Hearing this, Li Ke stood straight. Long Chen then reached out and patted a nearby boulder. After that, the boulder that was several times larger than a person shattered into pieces as easily as tofu, stunning the other disciples. Someone with such dense mortal chi was unable to use immortal arts or divine abilities. In other words, he had shattered that boulder with just the power of his physical body. A long strip of stone then came out of the shattered boulder. Long Chen tossed it onto Li Ke's shoulders. As soon as it landed, Li Ke's feet sank. His legs sank beneath the tough dirt. I, I can't hold it. Li Ke almost coughed up blood, and his body trembled. The stone was about to fall. Just at this moment, a knocked crossbow pointed at him. Long Chen coldly said, If you put it down, I'll kill you. Li Ke instantly began to sweat. He didn't dare to put down the stone, so he bitterly endured. After a few breaths time, Li Ke began to feel like he was about to die. However, just at that moment, Long Chen tossed another stone onto Li Ke's shoulders. Li Ke instantly began to lose his balance. He started swaying. 
Stop flailing, or I'll kill you, ordered Long Chen. I can't. I'm going to die. I feel like I can't breathe, cried out Li K. That's just the lure of your laziness. With your talent, this bit of weight is nothing. What you need to do is force out your talent. If you can't, then you'll be destroyed by your lazy side. Long Chen snorted and tossed a third rock onto him. He then added a fourth and fifth. The other disciples were dumbfounded. Those stones were so heavy that they couldn't hold up a single one. But even now, Li Kei was still standing. He was holding seven pieces. After that, the moment Long Chen mercilessly added the eighth piece, Li Kei's legs suddenly quivered. They suddenly grew, tearing open his pants. Boom. Li Kei howled, and all eight pieces were blown into the sky. The ground beneath his feet was blasted away by astral winds. What Li Kei's legs were a whole level thicker than before. Through his torn pants, it was possible to see some lines that had appeared on his skin. Li Kei himself was stunned. He stared at his own legs, dumbfounded by the power that he sensed coursing through them. I suppose that counts as an initial awakening. Your bloodline has been revived. Why don't you try jumping? Said Long Chen calmly. It was as if he had long since known this result. Li Kei jumped as hard as he could and he flew over 30 meters into the air, causing the other disciples to jump in shock. Ah, however, his power wasn't evenly distributed during his jump, causing him to begin flipping in the air. In the end, he fell face first into the ground, leaving only his legs wriggling in the air. That was a both startling and funny sight. I, I'm this amazing. Li Ke crawled out of the dirt and stared at his legs in delight. He felt like he had been reborn. It's not you. It's your parents that were amazing. They passed this asset to you, and you sat on it for so many years. You should have been able to awaken it as a teen, but you waited until now. Now, you can still look so ecstatic over something like that. Long Chen shook his head disdainfully. Suddenly, Li Kei knelt on the ground, exclaiming, Instructor Long Chen, I beg you, teach me how to cultivate. I want to get stronger and get revenge. One. His name is Li Kei, but when he says his name, he says Ni Kei, meaning you guess. Chapter 2836 The elite groups and known side Li Kei suddenly knelt on the ground, so emotional that he wept. Seeing this, Long Chen was startled. His plan was for the act with the unfettered alliance's people to completely suppress these undisciplined people. After that, he would let them see hope. It was the simple sequence of giving a taste of sweetness after a slap. Long Chen had seen that Li Kei's talent was not bad at all, so he had used the threat of death to awaken his power, getting them off to a good start to raise everyone's confidence. However, he hadn't expected Li Kei to be so moved that he knelt and cried on the ground. He quickly guessed that these people's haughty outside was covering up their weak hearts. Tell me your story, said Long Chen. Li Kei explained how he was a genius of the main bloodline in his family but there was another genius within his family with an even greater background than him. The two of them would be competitors for the future position of the head of the family. However, Li Kei's father suddenly died a few years ago due to an accident, resulting in the pressure falling on him from many different directions. After that, in order to protect his mother, he gave up on fighting for the position of the family head, and his cultivation was also half crippled by this. Even so, they didn't let him off and pressed him hard. Even his fiancé, who was his childhood sweetheart, was taken away. After years of living dejectedly with his cultivation crippled, his family sent him to the High Firmament Academy, mostly to distance him from the fighting inside the family and spare his life. They hoped that he could make some friends and gain some extra protection. My father died for my family, and my fiancé went back on our promise. These facts gnaw at my heart day and night. I want to get stronger to get revenge, cried Li Kei. Listening to him, none of the disciples laughed at him. Instead, they felt profound sympathy because they were in a similar situation. Despite being well-known figures within their own backgrounds, they were also failures. Facing hopeless competition, they gave up to despair. Just like in the secular world, there could only be one crown prince. Hence. Even flesh and blood brothers would destroy each other for that spot. Whether it was in powerful families or sects or other powers, such competition was an iron rule that no one could change. 
Only through competition could the true king be chosen, even if these silent rules were very cruel. As long as they benefited the power, there was no way around it. Competition led to progress, but whether it was positive or negative competition was difficult to control. I'm about the same as Lee K, my big brother. He, my biological big brother, tried to kill me. I even gave up on cultivating, but he refused to let me off, said another disciple. My third grandpa started to drive me out as soon as he took power. My branch is facing calamity I'm a bit luckier. My mother constantly told me since I was a child that I had to learn to endure if I wanted to live longer. The various resentments and helplessness of these disciples were finally spoken by them. They had been sent here because they were powerless. Despite looking impressive, it was an act as they had their own sorrows. Since you've all been forced to this extent, why not properly cultivate and raise your blade against your enemies? Why are you just messing around here and waiting to die? Asked Long Chen. Instructor Long Chen, are you really unaware? The High Firmament Academy has other disciples of our families, so every single one of our movements is under their observation. They will only let us off if we waste every single day. Otherwise, they will make sure to eliminate any possible dangers such as us. Side one disciple. So to put it frankly, you're all just afraid of dying. So you chose to surrender. That's always the most foolish strategy. It will only force you to the edge of a cliff. You have left your lives in the hands of your enemies. When a person kneels for too long, their knees become rooted to the ground, and they can no longer stand. You crippled your own martial power for some temporary safety. But what about the future? Perhaps any courage you had back then has been ground away by your slacking. How many of you want to fight back? How many of you want revenge? Long Chen curled his lips. The ones that I killed pissed themselves out of terror. All I see in your eyes is fear and cowardice. Your bravery left you the day you started retreating. You lost your courage, and you lost your drive. Now, your desire for vengeance only lives in your dreams. But in reality, you've accepted your fates. In this world, the most frightening strategy is the frog being slowly boiled alive. You get used to sinking into oblivion until you die without having the slightest ability to resist. The disciples of the elite group lowered their heads in shame. Long Chen's words directly stabbed them where it hurt, and he was entirely correct. They were barely surviving, simply extending the time until they were killed. Moreover, their revenge existed only in their dreams while they ran from reality. They wanted revenge yet also accepted the current status quo. They had already fallen. Instructor Long Chen, please save us. I know you can do it. My blood mark has appeared. My dad told me that as long as my blood mark returns, no one in the family will be a match for me. However, if those spies learn of this, they will definitely send people to kill me. They'll murder me before I can grow. I'm not afraid of dying, but I'm unwilling to lose like this. I want them to pay for the blood they spilled, cried Li K. Long Chen looked at Li K and nodded. Not bad. Your desire for revenge is strong. However, even if you get stronger, will you be able to fight your entire family by yourself? I, Li K was instantly dejected. Long Chen stood and looked at everyone. Let me ask you, do you want to take back what you lost? Yes. Everyone responded in unison as they found a trace of hope in Long Chen's words. Although they still didn't understand Long Chen, they saw a kind of unprecedented power within him. That power was confidence. It was as if there was nothing in this world that was hard for him. It was a strange, indescribable feeling. Actually, your problems are very simple. There are 36 of you. Not everyone's position is so terrible. As long as you unite, helping each person take back their original power within their families, the others will be supported by those powers. Then you help the second and the third. Like rolling a snowball, your overall power grows greater and greater. Start with the simplest problem and keep going until you can resolve the hardest one. With 35 different powers supporting you, will you be unable to win? Said Long Chen lightly. That's right. Why didn't we think of that? Someone slapped their thigh. Delighted by this plan. Even if you thought of it, what would be the point? Without any power, would your family support you? That's why power is number one, and schemes are only secondary. No matter how amazing the strategy, 
it cannot compete with absolute power. That's why, starting today, all of you are going to go through hellish training. Let me first say some ugly words. Those who cannot endure will be killed by me. You have no other way out, said Long Chen. Instructor Long Chen, we will do our best to grasp hold of this hope. We won't let these opportunities slip away for nothing. We've wasted too much time, and we don't want to keep living like walking corpses, shouted Li K. Good, then I'll also give you a promise. If you can pass my training and are still unable to take back what's yours, I will personally help you achieve your goal. Long Chen smiled. His gaze when he looked at these people was no longer so loathsome. Chapter 2837 The Devil's Training Begins That Day Long Chen spent time investigating every person's body, their bloodline, their soul, their bones. They were all evaluated by Long Chen. They were originally a group of geniuses, but that talent had been abandoned and wasted. Long Chen wanted to reactivate that talent, but that would require some ruthless moves. Long Chen refined specific medicinal liquids for them. As for that poison pill he had given each of them to eat before, it was actually a kind of potential activating pill. Furthermore, it was different from the Pill Institute's potential activating pill. Long Chen had made some changes, allowing it to fully stimulate a person's potential. This was why Li Ke was able to awaken his power so easily. Everything was still within Long Chen's calculations. In order to refine specific medicinal liquids for all 36 of them, Long Chen had spent a full day researching. The next day, he tossed them into a valley with three cliffs. Instructor Long Chen, did you bring us here for drills? But what kind of drills can be done here? Inquired a disciple. Long Chen didn't reply. Instead, he picked on a rock and threw it at a cliff like a meteor. As a result, a giant explosion blasted a hole in the cliff side causing everyone to jump. Long Chen's power was truly terrifying. However, before they even recovered from their shock at Long Chen's power, countless fist-sized bees began to fly out of the hole that Long Chen had made. Those bees had a scorpion's pincers, and the patterns on their bodies were extremely sinister looking. Scorpion bees. A disciple suddenly cried out when he recognized these creatures. They were extremely terrifying as their pincers. Tentacles and tails were all highly toxic noveloon.com however, the curious thing was that when they attacked, only one part of their bodies could be activated, they would then need to rest a bit before attacking with another part of their bodies because the poison at all three spots was different, if a person was struck by all three poisons, they would instantly die, but if struck by only one or two, they would still be fine, unfortunately, they were now facing thousands and thousands of them, if these bees caught up to them, they would definitely be stung until they were covered in holes. After that, they would definitely die. Upon seeing the bees, their newfound bravery vanished like smoke in the wind. Their flying speed is fast. At the very least, you won't be able to outrun them. Hence, if you want to live, you better kill them all. Whether or not you can live will be up to your luck, said Long Chen. Instructor Long Chen, we've been wasting away for so many years. We need a gradual process. Who has time to give you a gradual process? Are your opponents going to wait for you? If you want to take back what has been taken from you, you have to pay the price. Or are you still living in your fantasies? Snorted Long Chen. Just at this moment, the scorpion bees flew down upon them, covering the entire sky. They were enraged and immediately started attacking. Li Ke, as the leader of the group had to at least act a bit stronger than everyone else. He was the first to raise his sword and strike the scorpion bees. What are you all standing around for? Take out your weapons. Go all out. Those disciples clenched their teeth. They had no other choice. So they crazily attacked the scorpion bees. Ah! Screams began to ring out. The elite group was submerged by the scorpion bees. In just a few breaths time, all of them collapsed. After that, Long Chen tossed out some powder, and those scorpion bees instantly retreated. It was only after two hours that Li Ke and the others woke up. Their whole bodies ached and were itchy. Did we die? One of those disciples stared blankly around him. However, when he saw Li Ke, he suddenly laughed. Li Ke's face had swollen from the stinging until it was just like a pig's face. He almost didn't recognize him. However, 
As soon as he laughed, the corner of his mouth almost tore open, and a sharp pain came from his face. He was no better off than Lee K. His face had swelled up to its limit. Everyone slowly woke up. They looked at each other and themselves. The swelling all over their bodies made their hands look like meat buns and their fingers like sausages. Are we not dead? I remember I was struck dozens of times. Is my luck so good? exclaimed one of the disciples. Where is instructor Long Chen? asked one of them. This was no longer the original valley. Long Chen was gone. Boom. Suddenly, an explosion shook the land. It was like a dam had been broken, and then a fiery wave of heat washed over them. A distant mountain had actually erupted. What happened? It's lava. Lava was rapidly flowing toward them. Only then did they realize that they were in a river channel that the lava was flowing down to. Run. Li Ke shouted. If they were devoured by that lava, they would be instantly incinerated. Li Ke only took a single step before he collapsed. His numb body was causing his movements to be clumsy. It felt like lead had been poured throughout his body. Quick. There are some cliffs up ahead. There's a vine there. We can climb it and get out. Shouted Li Ke. Pointing. This was a dried up river. What was up ahead was most likely originally a waterfall. There was a deep hole there with countless veins growing along the cliff side. That was their only chance. Any path behind them was cut off by the lava. As it approached, everyone ran, rolled, and crawled forward. I can't. Save me. My legs won't move. Shouted one disciple, crying. His legs were like wooden buckets at this moment, and he couldn't even feel them. He could only crawl, resulting in him falling to the rear. Someone who can walk. Help. Lee K clenched his teeth and ran over to that disciple. He grabbed one of his hands and pulled him along. However, even after Lee K shouted, no one else reacted. Lee K cursed. Didn't instructor Long Chen say that we needed to unite if we want to take back what is ours? Have you forgotten? Quite a few people hesitated. They were disciples from powerful families, and they had seen the dark side of humanity in the fight for power there. They had never done anything to help others, so making them risk their lives to save someone else was truly difficult for them. Fuck. If I die, I die. Another disciple suddenly ran back and grabbed the other disciple's hand, dragging him along. Then another disciple came back, dragging them. Seeing this, that disciple being dragged wept from emotion. He had never experienced anyone in his life willing to risk their own lives to help him. Quick. Quick. The lava was slowly getting closer. It wasn't that far, and the heat rolling off of it terrified them. If the lava devoured them, they wouldn't even have corpses left. A distance of just a few miles could be crossed in just a few breaths of time normally, but now it was as difficult as ascending the heavens. However, when fighting with their lives on the line, people revealed immeasurable potential. When the lava was just a few meters away from them, they finally reached the cliff. They then quickly climbed up, narrowly avoiding the danger. Just as they were sighing with relief, a person appeared on the top of the cliff. Instructor Long Chen, the disciples were delighted, thinking that they were saved. However, Long Chen's actions made them cry out in horror. The sword in his hand slashed through the vines, sending them tumbling down into the lava. Nau, Chapter 2838 The transformation of trash The elite group fell into the roiling lava and the terrifying heat knocked them unconscious before they even touched it. Just at that moment, a flame dragon flew out of the lava and unleashed a wave of dragon breath that enveloped all of them. The dragon breath protected them as they fell into the lava. It was a full two hours before the lava suddenly exploded, and the elite group's disciples shot out toward the cliff. A flame dragon then flew out of the lava and came to Long Chen, shrinking until it was only a foot long. After that, it curled around his fingers. Truly a spirit of 10,000 flames. All flames can be controlled. It's too bad that this lava didn't contain any spirituality, or it could help you cultivate. Long Chen rubbed the flame dragon's head and sighed. Huo Long was first born from an earth flame seed, and it had only been subdued when the primal chaos bead suppressed it. In the end, it became Long Chen's powerful helper. Huo Long was a flame of the mortal world but it was now capable of even merging with the flames of the immortal world. Long Chen suspected that this had to do with the primal chaos bead. 
The primal chaos beat was truly mysterious. Long Chen still didn't know much about it. But in any case, it gave him endless confidence. When flame poison and the poison of the scorpion bee combine, along with two life and death experiences, the power of the potential activating pill is fully unleashed. If their innate talent still doesn't awaken, they really would be pigs. Long Chen put away Huo Long. Looking at these unconscious elite disciples, he sighed. Such good talent had been buried, turning them into trash. Every person had their own struggles. At this moment, the medicinal energy coursing through them was slowly awakening their talent. With the threat of death, their body instinctively dug out that potential. In truth, this power should have awoken with the assault of the scorpion bees. Long Chen had aided the antidote to their poison in the medicinal liquids that he had prepared for them. Regretfully, the sensation of death had come and passed too quickly. Before they even properly experienced it, it was over. Hence, Long Chen was forced to bring them to another place and have Huo Long send lava after them. This way, they would be able to experience the threat of death longer. However, he was a bit surprised to see these people actually working together selflessly at this critical juncture. He didn't know if it was due to their sympathy for each other's similar troubles. But when he saw them willing to risk themselves to help others, grief appeared in his eyes. Over 3,000 members of the Dragonblood Legion had died in the Battle of the Martial Heaven Continent, and every single one of them was his dear brother or sister. Whenever Long Chen thought of this, he had an urge to howl and weep. Instructor Long Chen. Long Chen was just finishing up refining a furnace of pills when Li Kei woke up. He then cried out when he saw Long Chen. In his memories, he had already died, being consumed by lava. He even recalled the feeling of his body being burned. However, he didn't know that Huo Long had only been putting them under a kind of hypnosis to let them experience the feeling of death. He was pretty much alive. Long Chen then put away the pill furnace and nodded at Li Kei. Your blood mark is thoroughly embedded in your eyes. It can count as a complete awakening. Your parents' bloodline truly is very powerful. They should be some pretty amazing existences. Li Kei's bloodline power focused on brute power, and he could be considered a power type fighter just like Long Chen. This was why Long Chen had instantly seen his potential and chosen him to be the captain. With this reminder, Li Kei checked his own body, which was covered with bloodlines. He clenched his fist and felt surging power within him. Just at this moment, the other disciples also woke up one after another. After awakening, they sensed the changes that they had gone through and shouted excitedly. After that, they all looked toward Long Chen reverently. Even if they were fools, they would still realize that this was done by Long Chen. Just as Long Chen had anticipated, the feeling of death plus two different kinds of poisons entering their bodies had fully stimulated the power of the potential activating pill. Even a pig would awaken their latent talent under this condition. The facts proved that they were at least stronger than pigs. Your innate talents have been awakened, but don't get too excited. No matter how good your talent is, if you can't use it, it's still useless. Furthermore, which person on the divine rankings isn't talented? If you want to beat them, there's still a long path for you. You don't have time to take things slowly. We are going to the wild hunting ground to start killing the beasts that roam there. This will cultivate your combat experience, said Long Chen. The wild hunting ground? But we haven't even entered a dueling ring. According to the God Institute's rules, if the disciples wanted to gain combat experience, they should first go through the dueling ring. That was a test to kill a beast one on one. Only once they passed could they enter the regular hunting grounds. As for the regular hunting grounds, the disciples usually formed a group of 7 to 10 people to kill a single beast. But those beasts were different from the ones that they fought in the dueling ring. They were truly wild beasts that hadn't been tamed at all. Their claws and teeth were complete. Hence, one mistake and anyone would lose their life. Only after they had passed through the regular hunting grounds would they be allowed to enter the wild hunting grounds. The group whose flying boat had struck Long Chen and the others back then was a squad coming from the wild hunting grounds. The smallest group permitted to enter the wild hunting grounds was one composed of over a hundred people. That was in case any beasts in the divine flame realm appeared. Moreover, not only did they need numbers, but they also needed good weapons and equipment just to be safe. 
In this case, Long Chen wanted them, a bunch of novices who had almost no combat experience, to enter the wild hunting grounds? That was sending them to their deaths. Stop wasting time. If I tell you to go, then go. What can you do in this world that doesn't pose any danger? It is precisely because you don't dare to take risks that you're in your current predicament. Even your lives are in other people's hands and can be taken at their whim. If you don't even have the courage to face some wild beasts, how will you face your opponents? Are you going to continue living in your fantasies? Snorted Long Chen. Three days later, Long Chen brought the elite group's disciples to the wild hunting grounds. This was a completely wild territory. As soon as they entered, a gust of astral winds blew across them. After that, a tiger's row rang out like thunder, shaking their ears. Rushing lightning tiger, we've entered its territory. It's warning us. Li K Ten stop. One disciple looked at Long Chen nervously. The rushing lightning tiger possesses thunder force. It's as quick as lightning and possesses limitless power. Even a hunting party of a hundred people wouldn't dare to provoke it without a heavy weapon. We just at this moment, lightning runes filled the air. Their expressions completely changed. It's already here. A 30 meter tiger covered in flickering lightning runes appeared in front of them. It roared, causing its runes to surge. A pair of lantern like eyes then stared at them, giving them chills. However, Long Chen simply walked toward it. Its fur then stood on end, and it roared at Long Chen, pouncing on him. Boom. Long Chen unleashed a single punch on its head. As a result, the earth was split open as the rushing lightning tiger's giant body smashed into the ground. It lay there, motionless. It. It died. The elite group's disciples stared in disbelief. Their jaws dropped. That terrifying rushing lightning tiger was killed with a single punch from Long Chen. Chapter 2839 Hope of Li Linger Awakening Li Ke and the others' jaws fell to the ground. Long Chen's cultivation base was clearly lower than theirs, but he had defeated this terrifying rushing lightning tiger with a single attack. The rushing lightning tiger was famous for its power. Not only was it fast, but if struck by its lightning, you would be at least paralyzed, if not killed. A group of a hundred with the right weapons still wouldn't provoke it lightly. One mistake would cost lives. In the worst case, the entire group might be wiped out. However, such a terrifying beast couldn't stand up to a single blow from Long Chen. These disciples had never seen an existence as terrifying as Long Chen. Despite his cultivation base clearly being lower, there was an uncrossable gap between them. They now believed that it was the truth when Long Chen had said that not even tens of thousands of them would be able to kill him. At this moment, Long Chen opened his hand and pressed it against the tiger's head. Sparks flew out of his palm as he absorbed its thunder force. Its thunder force might be fatal to others, but it was a great nourishment to Li Linger. That was why Long Chen hadn't had Li Kei and the others fight it. It was to avoid wasting its thunder force. The runes covering its body slowly dimmed until they were gone. Long Chen then split open its head and took out a palm-sized crystal containing terrifying thunder force. Upon holding this crystal, a dragon mark lit up on Long Chen's arm. Li Linger was being nourished by this energy. After an incense stick's worth of time, the crystal core grew dim and shattered. All of its energy absorbed. Too bad. There wasn't enough energy. If I had ten of these... Perhaps Li Linger would awaken, sighed Long Chen inside. If Li Linger could awaken, that would be of immense help to him. He would be able to purify his pills, bestowing them additional spirituality. He hadn't expected to run into such a nice surprise here. How many rushing lightning tigers are here? Asked Long Chen. Quite a few. They're an extremely difficult existence to deal with here, so most hunting squads avoid them, answered Li Kei reverently. At first, they had only submitted to Long Chen's viciousness. However, Long Chen had awakened their talent and even displayed astonishing combat power. Because of it, their reverence grew. All right, then we'll go with the goal of finding more rushing lightning tigers. Any beasts we encounter on the way will be left to you. Let me just warn you that I am very clear on how powerful you all are. I will personally deal with any beasts that are beyond you but I won't help you if you are able to handle them and are simply messing up. If fatalities occur due to your cowardice or bad cooperation, I won't take action. Your lives are your own. 
So fight for them. Fight to change your fates. If you don't work hard yourself, others won't help you, said Long Chen. He had to first make things clear. Otherwise, these people might think that they were safe due to seeing how powerful he was. If that was the case, they wouldn't go all out. Instructor Long Chen, we've completely transformed and are no longer the old cowards. Although this is just the outer region, if our luck is bad, we might encounter a divine flame realm beast. Those are existences that even divine flame experts find difficult to deal with, said one disciple. Long Chen frowned. I don't like repeating myself. I told you that I will personally take action if any beasts that surpass your limits appear. Let's go. After hearing that, the disciples' hearts shook. From his tone, it seemed that even divine flame beasts weren't anything to him. Was he able to defeat these vicious beasts across realms? They were unaware that fighting across realms was as normal as eating to Long Chen. Even when his mortal chi had yet to regress, he had the confidence to beat these brainless beasts. An hour later, the elite group finally encountered a bloodthirsty wild ape. After a bloody battle with over ten of them being injured, Li Kei found an opportunity to cut off its head. Almost all of them were covered in blood, but an excited light shone in their eyes. The 36 of them had managed to defeat a bloodthirsty wild ape by themselves. That was unthinkable to their previous selves. Instructor Long Chen, our display wasn't bad, right? Said Li Kei probingly, but he wasn't able to conceal his pleased expression. Trash. Long Chen eyed him and spat out a merciless judgment. Immediately, the disciples' excitement was extinguished. This accomplishment of theirs was viewed as trash by Long Chen. In an incense stick's worth of time, you made 17 fatal mistakes and lost 31 chances to kill it. Instead, you wasted all that time and ended up injuring yourselves. Let me tell you, that bloodthirsty wild ape wasn't beaten to death by you. It was enraged to death by having to fight your trash display, said Long Chen coldly. Now, those disciples felt lost and dejected. Seeing their expressions, Long Chen sighed. Perhaps he shouldn't judge them according to the Dragonblood Legion's standards. After his criticism, he explained their mistakes in detail and the chances they should have grasped. If you see a chance and don't take the risk, that's a coward's way. Cowards are afraid of dying. They're afraid of dying because they lack confidence in themselves. If you have enough confidence, you won't be quibbling about the consequences. The most infuriating thing to me is that some people closed their eyes while blocking attacks. Are you stupid? You can't even conquer such an instinct. Do you even want to change your fates? Said Long Chen darkly. People had an instinct to shut their eyes when a head-on blow struck them. That protected their eyes from the impact. However, a cultivator had to conquer that instinct. Especially in a fight where their divine sense wasn't strong enough. They had to use their eyes to track their opponent. Closing their eyes in combat was courting death. But some of these disciples didn't even have this common sense. Although Long Chen was angry, he didn't point out who exactly those fellows were. That was because he also sympathized with these fellows. They also couldn't help it. Instructor Long Chen, I was wrong. Next time, even if I have to die, I will keep my eyes open, declared one of the disciples. He clenched his fists in determination. Long Chen nodded. Being weak now isn't a sin. I have 10,000 ways to make you stronger. But if you don't have the heart to become stronger, then even a million methods would be useless. Everything depends on yourselves. Remember, in battle, you must forget about death. Forget about fear. You must only have a conviction to kill your enemies. Confidence is groomed through combat. And it is something piled up through countless victories. That's why every battle must be a victory. There can be no defeats. After saying that, Long Chen repeated the mistakes they had made with the bloodthirsty wild ape. He also transmitted some of the basics of combat. Anything too profound and they wouldn't understand. An hour of revising and helping people heal with medicine passed before they continued on their path. They had barely set out this time when they encountered a hunting squad of 300 people. When this group saw Long Chen and the others, they actually immediately charged up and surrounded them. Chapter 2840 Disciples of the Immortal Institute They are disciples from the Immortal Institute. Li Kei tensed slightly, whispering urgently to Long Chen. 
These disciples wore white robes like those of the God Institute, but the character on their chest was immortal, not God Novaloon.com in the High Firmament Academy. Among the many institutes, it was the God Institute and the Immortal Institute that had the fiercest competition between them. The God Institute cultivated divine abilities, while the Immortal Institute cultivated immortal arts. Their cultivation principles were extremely different. Moreover, the God Institute and the Immortal Institute were the High Firmament Academy's largest two institutes. They had the most disciples. So the unending friction between the two institutes led to the eternal conflict between the disciples from both sides. Oftentimes, there would be a fight sprung up between them. This is the Immortal Institute's hunting area. Outsiders may not enter, said the leader of this group, his gaze sweeping across Long Chen and the others. When he sensed how dense the mortal chi in Long Chen's body was, his expression became clearly contemptuous. Instructor Long Chen, we should leave. If people are hunting here, we should find a different location, whispered Li Kei. The God Institute and the Immortal Institute were always at odds. It wasn't worth it for them to fight. Furthermore, they were outnumbered. Long Chen nodded. It seemed that the other side was preparing to face some powerful beasts. That was why they had even set up sentinels around to prevent the main team from being disturbed. Long Chen was about to leave when the Immortal Institute's disciple said, One moment. Our senior apprentice brothers and sisters are setting a trap up ahead. If you walk like this, you might disturb the beast. Take off your shoes and walk barefoot. You, Li Kei and the others were enraged. This was clearly an attempt to humiliate them. Sorry, I'll ask you to cooperate, said that disciple indifferently. The rest of their disciples also looked down on Long Chen and the others. It was as if bullying the God Institute's disciples was pleasurable to them. Instructor Long Chen, Li Ke looked at Long Chen. Long Chen waved his hand, indicating him not to speak. He then walked over to that disciple. Let me show you something. The Immortal Institute's disciple looked at Long Chen and sneered. You wish to show me proof that you are a lowly little mortal ranked instructor? Do you think I care? If you're smart, you'll leave now. Otherwise, we'll toss you out. Long Chen nonchalantly extended a hand to him. The disciple glanced at it, only to find that Long Chen's hand was empty. He then snorted. What is this supposed to be? Do you know what this is? Asked Long Chen. Pow. Without waiting for a reply, Long Chen's hand slapped across that disciple's face. He was then sent flying far into the distance. Courting death, the other disciples of the Immortal Institute furiously charged at Long Chen. Li Kei and the others were also implicated. Kill them ordered Long Chen. What? We can't. Li Kei and the others were stunned to hear such a thing. Although the God Institute and the Immortal Institute were at odds, the Academy forbade disciples from killing each other. Did I ask for a discussion? Kill them. I will handle the consequences, shouted Long Chen. Following that, a scream rang out. One of the Immortal Institute's disciples' legs was broken by a kick from Long Chen. Fuck it. Li Kei saw the situation and roared. His sword came out, and he started ferociously attacking the Immortal Institute's disciples. As soon as he did this, the other disciples of the elite group attacked as well. The Immortal Institute's disciples were originally just planning on using their fists, but then Li Kei and the others took out their weapons. This was no longer just scaring each other but truly killing each other. Hence, they hastily took out their weapons but being caught off guard. Quite a few of them ended up injured in the first exchange, and they were forced back wretchedly. As for Long Chen's side, with every punch, he knocked out one of them. Anyone who reached him had their bones broken. These people were unable to bear a single blow from Long Chen. Seeing how vicious he was, their group of 300 fled in terror. Just at this moment, an angry roar shook the land. This bastard. Quick, kill him together. Furious cursing rang out in the distance. That voice seemed to be that of a woman, and it sounded anxious. Following her voice, rays of light flew out, and then they saw a giant explosion in the distance. You bastards disturbed the lightning lizard beast, ruining all our preparations. Senior apprentice sister won't let you off. The disciple that Long Chen had sent flying with a slap came crawling back, his body covered in mud. Boom. Just at that moment, 
A giant lizard came flying over. Any trees in its path were flattened. A divine flame realm lightning lizard beast. Instructor Long Chen, Ron, Li Kei and the others cried out. The lightning lizard beast had a lot of disciples of the Immortal Institute chasing it. They numbered over a thousand. This was a large hunting party of the Immortal Institute, and their target was this powerful lightning lizard beast. They had stealthily approached it in order to sneak attack it and got off to a good start. However, the disturbance on Long Chen's side had drawn its attention. Although these disciples tried to stop it, they were not fully prepared yet, so it charged through their blockade and fled. The lightning lizard beast was coincidentally rushing straight toward Long Chen. Perhaps it was because everyone else was wearing white and only he was wearing black, making him too conspicuous. It instantly reached him. Instructor Long Chen. Long Chen slowly rolled up his sleeves in the face of this lizard that was a dozen times larger than him. He then suddenly jumped up, unleashing a punch at its head. Lightning appeared on top of his fist. That was Li Ling'er's power. Although she was still in slumber, Long Chen could still use this power. Boom. Li Kei and the others' jaws dropped. They stared in shock as Long Chen's lightning fist smashed the lightning lizard beast into the ground. As a result, a giant hole appeared in the ground. The lightning lizard beast's body continued to twitch for a while at the bottom before it stopped and its aura vanished. Everyone present, whether it was the elite group or the Immortal Institute's disciples, was completely dumbfounded. The Immortal Institute's disciples in particular could not believe their eyes. A novice whose mortal chi was so dense had actually killed this terrifying lightning lizard beast in one punch. Long Chen clasped his hands behind him and stood in front of the lightning lizard beast. Staring at those shocked disciples, he indifferently said, This lightning lizard beast was killed by me. Are you planning on demanding a part of the spoils?